this. Yo! We recording, right? Yo! This camera. Snake this podcast. <laughs> camera is on this time. Yes. Episode four Virgils and a dollar. George <laughs> Greg back in the building. Hey. There is an off-white shoe on my list, by the way. It's not going to be said. Anymore. Fam. Just, oh, uh, off-white Nike. Yes. I'm thinking of off-white. Oh. Oh, yo, God. Man, what? Uh, look, I don't know what you got on your list, dude, because the stuff that you're saying that you don't have your list is insane. There's only All one right. Yeezy and one off-white on my list. You know what's funny is that you sit there and text me, have we ever done a top 10 Ronnie Fye collaboration? The only reason I did list? that because I was thinking... <laughs> Thinking about the shoes that's on here. Uh, you asked me that, and then you only got one I got, New Balance I got on your list. Three Ronnie Fike shoes on here. Okay, now I'm sure none of these. Oh, okay, what? Yeah, three. What you got, LeBron kids? All right, <laughs> they're all A6. <laughs> uh, mm, which? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, now they they may not all be top fifty shoes, of them, but one of them, one of them, I they are. One of them I I had on here and I took it off, but it it, it belongs yeah, above. Yeah, it. You had a rebel. Building. So we got time. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. you did. Uh, okay, yeah, I did. You got a not rebel. a rebel. I had the two point oh, which was <laughs> not the authentic. <laughs> nah, right. You got a rebel. Building. But you're right. It's, it's a rebel. <laughs> you're right. Based on your rules, it's a rebel. Building. You're right. Appreciate about who likes, subscribes, follows, all that stuff. We are doing, if you didn't know, I'm about to put something in the post up. We are going to build top 1050. Now, I didn't say last episode. I'm not going to say who asked us to do it now. But we were asked, and I believe they said a couple other shows they asked to see who can build a top 50 list. Now, I don't know what that means or why. They didn't say anything additional. I think it might be just for their sheer entertainment or content for them to steal. Who knows? But... Everybody who knows George and I knows that would be literally impossible. And it's literally impossible to do that just for us. Like, one of the hardest things ever. So we're going to do build our own top 50. And we're going to stretch it over five weeks. And we're going to do 50 to 41. And then the next week we'll do 40 to 39. Or what? not 39. 40 to, uh, what is it, 20? Whatever it is. The next 10, the next 10, next 10, until we build our own top 50. We'll have just our to own. one, yeah. yeah. All the way to one. So well, this is I'm five saying, weeks. Like, it's always to one. So 50 to 41, 40 to 31, yeah, yeah. 30 to 21, <laughs> 20 to 11. Yeah. So before we talk more about that, um, I'm excited about it. I will say I thought George's list was going to be trash, but from what he's told me, oh, it's definitely trash. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be trash, but from what he told me, it's definitely true. Because Man, what? you said you have only one New Balance. Now, this is the best part about building our top 50s and doing it the way we're doing it, is that we could change the rest of these after today. After maybe, we say maybe. our 10 today, our 10 today are locked in, okay? After that, you can make a change and say, you know what? There's no way. I could say something now in my bottom 10 that you say, ooh, that might be able to go up there. You already said something that might make me consider replacing something else, but I don't know. Mm. And also, you did do multiple colorways in the same model too, right? I did. Yes. Okay, all right, so that's good. And I didn't, and I which I know you probably did, I didn't include stuff like undefeated fours and stuff. I only have like one shoe like that, I think. Oh no, I got two actually. I got a second one, there's one you'll be upset about. Because it wasn't really attainable, but. What do you mean? Like, I don't have Paris SBs on there. Wait, well, what does attainable I, mean? Like, not a, super duper hard to get. Force is un, unobtainable. Okay, okay. I, I meant like uh, uh, SB pigeons. I have those on mine. Yeah, so do I. They were obtainable. Of course it was. Okay. People just lined up outside the door. Right, yeah, okay. I, I, I the Feeder 4 is supposed, supposedly only had, what, 85 pairs or 80 pairs or something like that? Well, less so, than I mean, that. Something like that. Oh, well. I mean. um, fam, you talking about those friends and family? Travis's oh, Travis or, Scott's. There's a eight, a eight, I think eight and a half and nine, both have the same bid. Not ask bid thirty eight point eight thousand for the purple. <laughs> you said it like that. I can't. I mean, I didn't include the point eight earlier, but I mean, might as well say it because just the point eight is more than we paying for a pair of shoes. I, we I not paying eight hundred. I absolutely <laughs> can't. Absolutely not. It's not even a, a question. Um, before we do pickups and stuff. Uh, we did receive a what we call this a care package. Is it is this is this what these are called? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. I need to see what snacks are in there, fam. Hopefully, it's better than uh, dried fish <laughs> or whatever that. <laughs> oh, um, whatever those from uh, Eat Like Death Row. 
Yeah, she I gave us know. all that stuff. Like it was good. And stuff, not for me. It was good. It just wasn't a good time for us to eat that. I don't eat that kind of stuff. Man. All right. So, I you want to open it? Here, you open it. You open it? No, you open it. I don't got like a knife or something. And I do? I don't know. You might have like a, a key knife. This is a very big box, too. This is a six pound box. I don't know if anybody can see that on camera. So, I haven't opened it. I asked my wife, I said, should I open it now just to make sure, you know, nothing to put in the fridge or there something be weird? Some Cheez Its in there. Some Cheez Its. <laughs> so, I think, uh, shout out to Andy Todd. It's from the homie Andy Todd on uh, Instagram. I think I'm trying to go back through my messages because he had told me he was going to send this a long time ago. Oh, some Cincinnati snacks. That's what he called it. So from like, I guess, some authentic snacks from Cincinnati. I don't know what that Cincinnati. means. I mean, what do Cincinnati's eat that we don't eat? Ugh. The Bangles? only thing, I don't know why I'm thinking of like Red Hots, Peanuts. I don't know why I'm thinking that. But like baseball has obviously been around for a long time. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> we got some snap bizzles. He didn't tell you about that. That's where all the weight came from. Yes, these six are six pounds. pounds. <laughs> and these is kind of fire. Look at these black on black crimes. What you want? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Oh. oh, this is tight. He didn't have to send us no stat backs. Uh, I thought he was sending us snack. Which one you want? Maybe it works for Dewey. I don't know. Which one you want? I don't care. George, which one do you want? The one on your uh, left hand got this more. One? Got one. <laughs> no, that's for you. It got more. Uh, nah, you know what? I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> take I don't that care. One. You pick. It don't matter. George, just take that one then. This is fire. Look at that. I don't. I'm looking in this camera, going like this. Uh. Look at that. <laughs> uh, I like that. Appreciate that. You see, Thank he you, had sir. to do that, uh, and I feel like much I feel, appreciated. You know, I appreciate that. Shout out to Andy Todd. I appreciate that. Greg did yell at me for not wearing a Dodger hat today, so it's kind of ironic. Hey. I don't know, but I don't know why we didn't talk about it being a Dodger hat day. So I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> like you got that crib hat on. Huh? We got Mickey, some. That's the first time Mickey Mouse ever did crib signals on a on a on a hat. Yes, Mickey is holding up the LA though because the city's in turmoil. We got Grippos. Are those like... I never heard of Oh, yeah. There's, oh, it's like a double pack. Open that up. Uh, yeah, oh, it's two packs in I there? I think. I don't know. It says twin it pack. It says twin pack. Half pounder. What else <laughs> we got? Right. That's what it says. So we got... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yep. Dang. For those who hate to listen to people chew on a podcast, <laughs> this is your time. I'll, I'll sit back. Um, you can't open it and not try it. Grippos. Okay. I never heard of Grippos. So this is a Cincinnati says, thing? Oh, this is uh, kettle chips, it looks like. Fam. These are fire. Look at this barbecue grill. It's not a gas grill. You know these is cracking. You know these smack. Ain't that what the, ain't that what the kids say? Smack? Uh, all right. I know these joints smack. Look at him. I can he tell. Smacked. Look at him, though. I know him. Big boy, no? Fam. Yeah, he got a new job. Look at that skillet. <laughs> Why you got that skillet if he making potato chips, huh? You know he was around during. Yeah, good. <laughs> you know times are really bad. What else we got? Oh, sorry. What the? What is this? We got some chili spaghetti. Oh no! Cincinnati do famous. It. Oh, is this what Don't you were talking it. about? Uh huh. Dang, this skyline chili. You said it wasn't good, right? Yeah, we were just talking about chili. They put cinnamon in it. It doesn't taste right. We were singing about chili. Oh, I was singing about chili before the podcast even started. What's that called? Irony. All right. It's called something like that. Fam. This one got no cinnamon in it. They put cinnamon in their chili. Not in this one. All right. Fam. Look at that. One for you. Look at that Skyline chili. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, typically, people send like candy and stuff. Now, nah, getting some chili is a little different. I thought it was original chili in a bag. No? Well, they're two different kinds. Original chili and chili spaghetti. Oh, shite. I need this one, B. You got to take chili spaghetti. Huh? <laughs> What else we got in here? That's what they're famous for. Dang, this is a six pound and a can of chili. Look, I'm gonna tell you something. Now. This is a real, this is a real care package. It's like something you sent to the, your uncle in the military. This one got a can in it. <laughs> now, that one I bet you is better. This joint is called, you can have it. It says the flavor of Cincinnati. Now. I flew over Cincinnati one time. It didn't smell nothing like chili. It was a storm and it was crazy. Now. Shout out to Andy Todd. This joint says Gold Star Chili Original Chili. Now. This is 15 ounce can of chili. This joint says serving suggestions three way, four way, five way, or on a cheesy cone dog. <laughs> you can cook this on your stovetop or your microwave, cause we eating that. Or well, you eating that. You take that home with you to the missus. All right. When you get home to the missus, you tell her you got dinner tonight. Guess that oh, got a letter. You wanna read it? 
Nope, I'm busy eating chips. Come on, fam. You got the best reading voice. That's what Postmate said. Postmate said, hey, do you mind if he reads it? I said, why? <laughs> Let's you read this? Let's read this. Hope it's not private. It says, yo, sneak this. Just wanted to show some love back to y'all through those crazy times. I know this card is corny as F, but it made sense with the last dance airing recently. I threw in a few Dodger hats because I think it's something that you can both agree on liking. L-O-L. <laughs> Your podcast has got me through some really dark times in my life recently. I appreciate that. The Grippo chips, I'm not sure, it's called Grippo, right? Was it Grippo? Grippo? Grippo chips are probably the best snack to come out of Cincinnati. So I wanted you guys to try those and let me know what you think. Also, also I threw in some Skyline Chili and Gold Star. George can't remember which one you tried when you were here, but I wanted to give Greg the opportunity to try both out. Let me know if if you guys like any of it and i'll send more it says it's from cincinnati ohio it says it was packaged by by bag. andy dalton yes he ain't there no more uh it says like any of it he might be starting for the patriots now uh <laughs> and uh might be starting with the cowboys I and i'll send more no, he's on the Cowboys. What are you talking oh. about? Backup. Don't oh. be. Tell me, do that. Mm, never mind. Uh, congrats on 200th episode. The hat is extra fire flames, and I have it on while writing this. My handwriting is whack. <laughs> <laughs> I have it written a letter in. Looks like it says years, but I'll say that's whack too. LOL. Mad love for you guys. Please keep doing what you're doing. Peace, Andy. Oh, shite. Look at them Jordans. Look at that Jordan. You didn't see that first? Nah, fam. That's I just got straight to the meat. Pause. Damn. That's why he said it was corny because of the last day. Oh, that's why he said that. I thought he was about to like make reference to us. Hmm. This Jordan says Air Jordan Legacy. Look at that, fam. Don't that make you feel special? Yeah, what's up with you? Dude? Don't that make you feel special doing this podcast? What's up with you? Doesn't that make you feel special? Somebody took the time to put a can and some chili and chips in the box and some Dodger <laughs> hats for us? Shout out to Andy. This uh, is a really uh, nice gift. It was unnecessary. I appreciate it. It really is unnecessary. I do appreciate but it. I feel special all the time, man. Okay, yes. You, you are special. You've been touched <laughs> by an angel. These these are fire hats. I appreciate this. And I have been looking at all black Dodger hats, and I was like, well, I don't know if I want to pay for one, but now I got one for free. So shout out to Andy. I definitely appreciate that. I uh, tried to order one, and it was a smash pancake, and now I got oh, one. Oh, that's right. You did order a black Dodger hat. That joint, <laughs> that joint got hit with a chili can. So, But uh, shout out to Andy. Hey, fam, you destroyed that bag of shit. Let me taste one. Open my other one. Let me just taste one. I ain't trying to ain't eat them all. I know you did not eat that entire bag that quick. Man. You act like it was full. I'm about to like slap you in half. Here, man, just put it in your mouth. So. <laughs> right. I know that's what you want to do. Who, who, if you don't pull the crumbs in your mouth, then you need a bag of chips right. Uh, these are facts. Uh. Fam, what are you? <laughs> tell me why I eat chips. All right, I'm just saying. If you eat a pack of Sour Patch Kids and you don't pour the sour dust in your mouth after oh, either. Nah, that's disgusting. Oh, you're insane. That's disgusting. You don't eat Sour Patch Kids, though. I do it with chip with uh, chips. I don't do that with but that's nasty, you know, all that sugar in your mouth. Mm, nasty. <laughs> you crazy though. You have and to And I'm about to do this too. Hey, look at I you. I use hand sanitizer before this. Just George George worry. purposely didn't stop at QT to get snacks today because he knew something was coming. I didn't have time. If I it, forgot. Only forgot you said that came. If it would have been, a, if it would have been just a box of snapbacks, you would have been starving. <laughs> you right. I would have drank that water fast. <laughs> yes, I would have filled you. <laughs> Shout out to Andy. We appreciate you very, very much. Shout out to Cincinnati. I think we got some other listeners in Cincinnati. And he trying to, he trying to uh, bump up to the number one Andy, you know? Damn. Shots fired. <laughs> then we got Andy Green. I talked to Andy, who lives in uh, the UK. I talked to him during one of the closet episodes. And then this is Andy Ty representing Dang, Cincinnati. competition. We got three Andys. Uh, they like this. Uh, they're moving up. <laughs> yes, that horse race when you shoot the water in the mouth. Know, and the know. horse is going. <laughs> Yeah, you pass like this. I don't know right now. UK Andy gave me a fire episode about the UK, but Andy out of Cincinnati gave us two Dodger hats and a bunch of chili. Andy Green. Oh no, fam. You could take both them blue packets, fam. Just give me the red can. 
<laughs> you take this red can. <laughs> yeah, dude, take it and shove it. Well, I'm about to go put this chili right in the microwave when I get home. Uh, this joy says. Put it in the microwave in that office. It right says heats in pouch in two minutes. Uh, I'm about to put this chili and I'm about to grate some cheese on top of it. Uh, if you don't grate no cheese on top of your chili, you trash. Uh, these are facts. Damn, uh, the picture tells you how to do it, okay? Yes, it tells you how to do it. Pickups, George. Do you got any pickups this week or any pickups you forgot last week? Um. Appreciate you, Andy Todd. I appreciate you very much. That was very nice of you. I got a bunch of stuff I sold. Oh, look at I you. bought those Adidas ZX, whatever. Did I say that last week? Wait, wait, wait. Which ones? Oh, no, you didn't say that it last week. Early Access, whatever. What are they called? Joints came, I think, ZX40. Suck, man. Boost? Z- Adidas Boost ZX40, maybe? They have 4D and... Oh, I don't know. I whatever that newest boost. Adidas shoe was, yeah, it was yeah. Boost. Uh, from the pictures, you couldn't tell it was full-length Boost. The 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 boost on it actually felt like to me like some new some newer version of boost that's oh, like try softer. It on? No, I just oh. when you take it out the box. Um, but the toe box and the shoe itself was super over uh, over underwhelming when I took it out, and I was like, nah, this ain't for me. I was thinking about returning it, and then anytime I do that with Adidas, I try to get a twelve and a half because I know twelve and a half is desirable at least selling and make my money back. So I think I sold it and made one dollar. You got a twelve and a half in it. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't put it on. I have they actually the have they actually released yet on Adidas? I know. I know they, other, have, I know they have other stores. Yeah. Like I've saw. They're on uh, oh, I, yeah. I mean, I figured big accounts like that that have that get whatever the equivalent of like um, consortium. Yeah, consortium account. There you go. What's what's Nike's thing called? Uh, uh, tier zero. Tier zero used to be. I don't know if it's still called tier zero. Nah, they ain't got that no more. They got rid of those. Well. I mean, they didn't get rid of the so status, don't call it that, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's underwhelming. Sold it, made a dollar. Um, what else? I checked out. I don't know if they're going to ship it. So stuff always cancels with boutique stores. But on Undefeated, I checked out a women's UNC Low Jordan 1. I think they're going for like 50 or 60 bucks above retail. Women's so. Jordan Low? You mean like the fat one? It's yeah. It's the it's not the OG shape. It's like the cost in one, but the women's version. It's UNC low women's. Does it got the twenty three on the tongue? Yeah, I think so. Oh, so it's like a fat one. It's just a yeah. Whatever the oh, non OG oh, okay. version is, I don't know what I I, we know, call it. Fat one, but I don't know if it is one. I didn't know what uh they had a women a women's version. But yeah, I women's. thought it was just men's. I thought it was, oh I didn't know that. No, oh. they, they didn't make a men's in UNC low except for the cost in Oh, I didn't know that. Jordan. It, it it's too it's way lighter it blue is. than the cost of ones. Yeah. It's uh, like for a girl. It's probably closer to the real UNC color like if you look at it it's probably closer to their uniform color. Um but yeah, it's not it's not for me. I bought it to resell it. I think it's going for like 50 or 60 bucks above retail which I'll pay for my hat. <laughs> 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 the hat that I ship back. Um not buy anything else? Nope. I don't think I bought anything for myself except that Adidas that I was going to think about keeping and then got rid of it. The other thing that I bought for myself, I think I said it already last week, was that the shoe of the summer, <laughs> Air, Air Max 1. Shoot and they the were summer. on sale. Matter of fact, you might want to try to cop from what's that? Sh- what's the store in Italy? Bruh, they do the Spizzo? best. They do the best job packing shoes I've ever seen. Uh, Most overseas places Louis, do. Luisa. Luis Pisa. Luis Roma. It's something. I was on there the other day looking at some stuff. It. Um. I will say overseas places do the the best packing. I mean, Inns yeah. packing is phenomenal. Luisa via Roma. Like you order three pair of shoes from in, it comes in one box, like one. <laughs> it comes in one end box and then one box. So it's, it's double box. You know how cats oh, used to be like, "Yo, double that. box them." Remember when cats used to ask that? You used to buy a sneaker or something. Yo, can you double box? Yeah, it? because trash can companies still ship without double boxes. It's insane. What's put the stuff du- in bags. Okay, what? Oh, okay, that's what double box means. Yes, it means put it in another box. Man, I thought double box means like put the sneakers in a box, then that box in a box. That's two boxes. The shoe box. That don't qualify. <laughs> it's a box. What are you talking about? That's the first box. Not the a second box. box is a shipping box. Can you, Bro, where's that box that you just pulled all these snacks out of? That's why? the box. If you put two sneakers in that, it's double box. That's not double boxing. That's what it means. Um, what else you cop? That was it? I 
think so, man. I don't know. Who knows anymore? I rode I, down. I bought a bunch of shorts and hats. That's all I know. I saw them buying. Yo, hats are the new sneakers, though. These are facts. Though. Because that's all I look at now. That's all I look at is I, hats now. Why does... Do they resell? Why does Hat Club Soho have a line and put sold out on their Instagram? I don't get it. Because them hats are fire. I mean, I don't... I, hats right now, like I said... Hats are fire, but if they don't have resale value, it's the same thing. If sneakers don't have resale value, no one it, no one would wait in line. Fam. Only would, people who will buy is the people who want it. That's it. And it's ne- people who want it is never as many as the pairs there are. I was just talking to the homie uh, <coughs> Ruyas, Rulas. I don't know. It's on. Uh, he's on Instagram. RG. Uh, shout out to him And we were talking about hats Look at that Look at that picture he posted With the sneak this hat Dang, dang, dang. Mm, black to... toes mm-hmm. I, see, I see I'm an influencer again fam Oh uh, wow You have no black toes um, I used to I sold them <laughs> like, That's how yeah, I, I take, sold mine That's how I, I take my pictures I don't know if you ever posted them I'm a super clown Selling those as simple Especially now that I wore my shorts like this <laughs> Foolish Yes you discovered a new way of life Um but no, like we were talking about hats, and I follow a lot of hat cats. You know, I need one of the yellow hats, like the Subway series, one of the yellow ones, like a Dodger one. And I'll tell you this: What does that mean? The yellow one. You ever seen the yellow ones? The hat is actually yellow. Yeah, the whole it's like a golden rod, like not yellow. You've seen them. You've had yeah, to see. Yeah, it's called Carhartt. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Raiders. You've seen them. Salute to but service. Them joints, them joints are. Fire. Salute to and I could have pre-ordered it, but they weren't shipping until workers. September, and I wasn't. I been. almost bought one of those. Uh, I've thought about it. I was like, "Well, they got the Raiders Carhartt. Mm, I probably could get away with." I it. bought a Carhartt, fam. I don't wear Tims. What am I gonna match this with? Okay, you don't need Tim. You, get, you don't have to wear Carhartt. That with Tims. color. Okay, I don't match match stuff like that, anyways. Which people on the show know because I talk about matchy matchy. Nobody all the time. matchy matchies. Although oh, I'm matching this no. olive with these oh, shoes. No, in no, no, oh no, no, no. People do. Yes. Not certain people. There's a lot of people. That do. <laughs> yes. But, yeah. Everyone. Uh, not everyone. One. A lot of people still uh, matchy imagine. matchy in 2020 when I was doing it in 1995. Fam, I'm wearing a blue Dodgers hat with an olive green shirt. I wear hats with whatever and do whatever I feel like. And Dodgers hats for uh, for the record. That's not exactly like not. I mean, that's not what I'm talking about. Like I know that, but I'm saying like I'm not like no no uh, yes and no because there's cats that like yo I gotta get I got a purple shirt I gotta get a purple Diamondback hat I gotta get the purple shoes that's what I'm, I'm, talking, that. yeah, that's yeah. What I'm talking about that's yeah. oh that's matchy matchy but. but there still is some degree of matching in most things. Like your belt should match, you know, at least in okay, we're talking dress, about dress wear. Clothes, your belt different. should match your shoes. Unless you, know? you live in Atlanta. Then you can do whatever you feel like. Mm. Now, when I was in Atlanta and like, and then dressed very nice. like, But like their style is dramatically different. I'm talking about orange belt with the serious sucker pinstripe with the flowered hanky with the lapel with the top hat i'm like yo yeah like that man we seen walking out of work that day yeah like him no he, he think he's from atlanta he think he's from atlanta and yeah, he, he has stripes checks and uh and the polka dots on, on that outfit i think he looked like when uh the cable go out when you leave the tv on too long <laughs> <laughs> leave the tv yeah, on too long katie katie five <laughs> <laughs> he looked girl, what was that uh, video game? KD5 KD5 is one of the worst basketball singers of all time. Damn, the prices. Uh, uh, this you better is, not say go, the we, prices are up on KD5s. No, no, no. But oh. Just, it brought up the fact of Skater Die, because Skater Die is a video game, and it's obviously that old 16 bit or whatever. Eight like, bit. it look oh, 8 bit, whatever it is. It looks like it. So, uh, just, <laughs> how the hell are Skater Dies over $1,000? Or whatever it is, 800, 900? Fam, yeah. I sold a pair of Skater Dies for $160 on eBay. Years back, like not a long time ago, maybe like five, six years ago, yeah, I saw that cat was like, yo, these don't look like they're doing the picks. I want to send them back. <laughs> you got some nerve. Now you mad. Like, why'd I send them back? I can sell them for How a thousand. How many years ago was that? About six years? It had to be about six years. Because I sold my skater dies to a girl in the Facebook group for 60 bucks. And I only had the yellow laces. I, I had no black laces. And I had no box. And I don't even know where I got them skater dies from. Like, I have no idea where they came from. Did you give them to me? Uh, I feel like you found no, them. I copped them first, and then you copped them after that or something. I don't skater dies are whack. Mm. I we don't thought think, they were fired. Skater dies are a whack. Are no, a whack I think we thought they were fired. Then we thought they were whack, but, like, now they're just eh. Like, they're not whack, but they're just, like, it's, but where, where are you wearing it to? I'll tell you this. Okay, on your top 50 <laughs> list that you made for yourself, you got a lot of SBs on it? Yeah. Okay, a lot. Not a lot, but I ha- I mean, you have to have some. I okay. think there's five, six. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But not all of them are dunks. One is a different model, which oh, I'm sure you can wow. guess what it is. There's no way I'm putting that on top 50 yet. Yeah. 
Why? No, no, no. <laughs> Yet? What are you talking about? It came out in 2004 or something. 2004. Blazer? Supreme Blazer? Oh, <laughs> let me write that down. I'm not putting it on my list yet, but I can write it down and switch it. <clears throat> Supreme Blazer, that's a good one. See? That's why we're doing the way we're doing our list. Um, pickups for myself. I got... Actually, I wrote down all the ones that I, I picked up over the break real quick. So, I got Adidas 4D, uh, Pharrell HU. I got those on now. They're awful. One of the worst things I've ever heard in my entire life. Uh, Somewhere in America, Culture Vulture Survivors. Those are fire. Take them outside. Turn purple. Fire. All right. These are pickups? What section? What segment are you on here? Pickets. This oh. is pickups from... I said I'll send my pickups that we didn't get to oh, last time. All right. I was like, what? Uh, LeBron 7 Christmas, Adidas Shell Toe Recons, Van Old School Pistachio and Raspberries. I got Adidas Rivalry Low Reds, Chuck Taylor High 70s, Adidas OG Lexicons. Uh, hey, fire. Uh, New Balance 327s. I got some more Continentals. And I got two pair of Cortez Forrest Gumps. Oh, yeah, you wild. For man. the L.O. You just out here copping stuff you're never going to wear. I forgot to bring I'm that. wearing them now. I told you. This is undies season, baby. Fam, you wore <laughs> black, red Jordan 1s last week. You didn't That's... wear no Continentals or no none of that and other nonsense you talked yeah, about. Yeah, but this week I'm wearing Pharrell's, ain't I? I want yes, a four hundred dollars sneaker, but that's different. Those are—I told you those are fired. The other colorway is better, but those are fire. You think these look fire on my foot? The purple one's better. Yeah, okay, I, I know the purple one's better, but does these look fire? Um, the well, shoe is fire. I didn't see you wearing. I just saw when you had your foot up on the counter earlier. I can't lift my leg up that high. <clears throat> I heard. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I forgot to bring that paper for you to sign again. What come out this week? Dang, angry. Yo, my autograph. <laughs> <laughs> what? What come out this week? Yeah, your autograph. Your I actually kid. wrote some stuff down that come out <clears throat> this week. Oh, they pushed back no. your uh, trash hippies. Relax, fam. Yeah, I saw that in July. Uh, um, St. John's low dunk. June twelfth. When's June twelfth? Is that Saturday? Saturday? Um, See what happens. I'm about to try some new tactics. Jordan five top three. Nope. <laughs> Although <laughs> I will say, I will say it's not as bad as I originally that might be it. thought. No, that's some other stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'll say this other shit because it comes out before the show. The next show we do. Uh, Air Max 90 orange camo. So, oh, that comes out this week. Well, the 16th next Tuesday. Oh, so okay. Well, the Jordan Six come out this week. The Hair Six. This says June 17th. I mean, you could be right. Oh, this, really? This might be wrong. What you looking on? Um, G O A T. Oh, I got them off goat. Hmm. Also, uh, them. Uh, what about them Adidas? The Hold on, let me go to this. Other Yeezy Zion's. I don't think any Yeezys come out this weekend. It would have been on. What about Adidas them animals? Out. Animal Instincts. Those suck. Oh, now they suck. You no, said no, no. they were. No, no. No, I said they suck before because it wasn't the first picture that came out. We had this discussion. Okay, that already. first picture that came out was like a, a rendering. All right. Yeah, well, I didn't know that. Doy. So, <laughs> so once I figured that out, Doy. then I was like, all right, yes, you're correct. Oh, shoot. Animal Instincts will come out <clears> to the 25th. I think you're right about hairs. I think that date was wrong. Ooh. Let me see what hairs say on sneakers. Yeah, sneakers that come out the. Oh, no, 17th. 17th, you're right. Um, Unless they release early elsewhere, I'm only going to say this because other people will care. You, I know you don't. You think the model sucks, but their spirit on volts come out. The one with the volt <laughs> upper and the white. Um, Man, if you don't household. Stop. Just say you love spirit ons. No, I don't know yet. I told you the top down look looks like the the top Cobot down look. Trash. The top down look of the sneaker is the best part of the sneaker. The side no. of the sneaker looks trash. No, you're wrong. Those ones you sent today, those are technically ASU colors, and I think they're trash. Like they look like absolute plastic Man, garbage. ASU is Adidas. Um, okay. These say this says tie dyes come out on the 11th, but I don't think that's right. Jordan one tie dye what? Nice kicks NMD. No, jo- yes. <laughs> Jordan 1 women's tie dye. I don't think that's right. I think that's next week, right? I don't think that's right. And you so know that says, Jordan 6 you sent, the all black Jordan 6, that's only women's? The uh, umpire special, umpire 7s? Why are they making an all black <laughs> Jordan 6 for women? Uh-huh. One person, Jay Wild. No? There is no woman on earth that should be wearing all black sneakers, period. I don't care what woman hears this and doesn't like it. All black sneakers on the women are all Awful. I'm talking about all black. I ain't talking about like a black sneaker with a white swoosh. All I mean, black. I kind of feel on like if you wear like a... Jay Wow is the only woman on the Jersey Shore that should be able to yeah, wear Yeah, but she be wearing... Oh, Yes, but she wears like... She be wearing like Reebok she, Classics or something. Uh, yeah, but... Five she wears five like triple, triple black 
Air Max 95 that like are for refs. No. <laughs> yes. They're not even that nice of a model. She be Fam. wearing like a yes, triple like, black. Yes, Nike stuff that's like. No, 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 no. You don't buy it in that style unless you're a referee. Nah. Yes. I went back and looked at some footage. You know, they were like. <laughs> yes. Like felas or something. You know, like right. some d- d- disruptors or something. You need to uh. chill out. So hair. Oh, real quick. Dunk. Do you St. have. John's any- need. Do you have any feelers on your top 50 list? Of course not. You are insane. We I only did, have one. We discussed this. Already. I only have one. We discussed this already. You should have a great hill on your list. No, I shouldn't. Okay. Well, you have no respect for us as OGs <laughs> and no respect for the 90s or basketball <laughs> whatsoever. Though. You have no respect whatsoever. Though. If you don't have at least one great hill, it could have been up, it could have been one or two. I got uh, Grand Hill 2 of mine It could have been either one But you got no respect For the 80s or the 90s no? I th- I'm not wearing it In 2020 It doesn't matter that's It not matters to me list. Okay So you built See that's not Okay that's No no fine. People are I don't think there's anything On the list that people Are going to outright say Like oh there's no shot But there's stuff That people would disagree with Let me tell you something too <clears throat> I forgot to say I Like I said got, uh, Travis got 270 Okay Sup Let me tell you about That sneaker in hand Okay in hand, in pictures, I'm talking awful. One of the most awful looking sneakers I've ever seen in my entire life. I tried the sneaker on, wasn't too bad, but what makes the sneaker whack, when you look at that sneaker, what's the first thing that you notice when you look at that sneaker? I mean, it looks like it's dirty. Okay. The yellow midsole, all that. There's like a tag on it. So I'm like, oh, look at this hang tag. I thought I was going to talk about Cactus Jack or something. The hang tag says, disclaimer, uh, this will wash off if you get in the water. This is strictly for aesthetic looks. I was like, what the? So like, you step in water or get the shoe wet, that all that yellow comes off. Like, that's that's stupid to me. That's trash to me. And the yellow goes on the bottom. I don't like that. I don't like that because I thought that was the point of the you shoe. You should have sold them before they showed up at your house. Fam, chill. You should have commandeered. These hippie space hippies need to be in my collection. If you need help, you gotta let me know because you I already have, know I need help. Well, I need, you need help, but I don't know if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, he came with the jokes today. Oh, uh, I think that's different releases. Um, yeah, what else we got on the list? There's anything on there? There's nothing else. Uh, did you want to go back and recap about anything what we talked about last week? I only have one, um, two things I wanted to say because two people have sent me something. That we didn't talk about. And yeah, that's fine. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna. Obviously, yeah. I'm not gonna change anything I said. I yeah, stand yeah, by not. that. Um, some people responded like not the way I expected them. I, I shouldn't say some people. There was one or two people. I think for the most part, the response to the entire show was positive. I think a couple people, like people, were telling me to run for uh, political office. I'm like, man, I'm the last person who wants to be in political office. He's right. You only go. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be at work before you every day And I'm not scheduled to be in until like two hours after you That's a lie You have never gotten to work before me Every t- Almost every day This week Fam, you're at home <laughs> What are you talking about? Oh, st- I'm still, I start at, at 4.15, 4.20 still when I'm at home no, there, There's no still Because you don't get there that early when you have to drive to the building Okay I'm gonna need you to stop <laughs> talking Go do what you gotta do um. Ooh, this no, so thick. somebody was saying like disagreeing with what I said based on they thought that the I'm talking about specifically the person on IG, um, and I think the problem oh, with yeah. that was he didn't. That was just a snippet yeah, of what we said, and he didn't watch because we said almost the same exact thing. Again. Someone looting a store that's like 20 miles away from the main protest that's set up to me has nothing to do with the protest. Now, again, um, that city can have their own protest and maybe that city did have a protest set up. I don't know, but it's not something I heard about till I saw Jake Paul or whatever at the mall. (laughs) Jake Paul cutting up in Apple store and wherever else. Um, And obviously he got arrested or well, one of them Pauls, one of them YouTube Pauls. I don't know who it was. And obviously he got arrested by Scottsdale PD or Phoenix PD, one of them. One of them. Um, but when I'm talking about, like, and another person I think commented and said something to people, whatever, the people that I'm talking about when I say people in that segment are the opportunists, not the people who are there to protest, not black youth who are frustrated, fed up with the system. 
I'm talking specifically about anyone who didn't care about George Floyd, anyone who doesn't care about protesting, who just saw people going in a store, getting free sneakers or whatever, and was like, I'm going to go join in. That's who I'm talking about. Um, there was something, I guess it was a Trevor Noah thing. Not He didn't say it. It was a video of a woman on the street. I don't know if you saw that video. Um, and it was also played on... John Oliver's show at the very end. Um, John Oliver has a show on HBO this week, mm-hmm. tonight, or whatever. Um, and tr- I, from what I understand, it was on Trevor Noah's show. But it was a woman on the streets, and the background was like boarded up building. And the real clip is like longer than what they showed. But you want to talk about just like, I mean, flames, just spinning flames, like the equivalent of like Black Thought on the mic. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. just. And it had everything oh, to do with it had yeah. everything to do with like the social contract breaking down. She can totally understand why people are angry. She talked about because throughout this whole thing, you've heard a lot of racist people say like, "Well, why don't you build your own community? But you know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps." This, that, and the other. People who don't know, go research Tulsa, Oklahoma. It was in the early '90s, I believe. The entire city or the entire uh, black area of the city basically not 1990s. Was, no, I mean, no, I said. No, I said early 1900s. Oh, I? you said 90s. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, early yeah. 1900s is what I meant. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Early 1900s. That was I think about it was like watch, 1920 or something. But did you ever watch Watchmen? Uh, I heard that. No, okay, no, no. Yeah, it, but I heard that they yeah, yeah. discussed that on there. But but no. I mean, I knew about the Tulsa race riots before yeah, any of this yeah, yeah, happened. Yeah, way like, before, yeah. A lot of people don't know about it. I've known about this for a long time because it's not taught in school. But I didn't know why it was such a big thing in Watchmen. Like, I don't remember Watchmen the movie as much as you know, I watched it. But, like, in the show Watchmen, it's a major part oh, yeah. of it. Yeah, I heard the, the entire show about The only thing racism. I remember about Watchmen is the man who's, like, made out of energy. Blue. Kills and then the everybody. man that <laughs> Warshak face. Yeah. yeah, that's all I could, you know. But she talks about Tulsa. And then there was one other one, I guess. I don't know where it was. I don't know if it was in the south somewhere. I know there was, like, a... Something was started in South Carolina at some point that was like a all black city or whatever where like there was like black wealth there and then white people came and you know killed them lynched them whatever stole the money which is the same thing basically happened in Tulsa anyways getting off track here if you haven't heard those stories go research it I don't I wish I knew the woman's name I probably could look it up before the end of the show um but I just wanted to point out that what she said on that video Basically was what we were trying to say Me just being a white person I can't go quite that far As she can you know what I mean for obvious reasons Oh and then the other question was Like I thought you were Mexican So I'm half white And half Mexican so okay so this is what it is My my dad's side of the family Is Mexican my mom's side of the family is white My dad passed away when I was young So I was raised obviously With the white side of the family However in like 6th grade My mom got back in a relationship with the black man from Baltimore. So if it seems like I have culture from all the different cultures, that's why. Um, So he was basically like, he was my stepdad, but but I basically grew up since I was in sixth grade with him till I was 38 or whatever. So big impression on my life. So that's where all my experience comes from. I grew up in LA, obviously like completely different than growing up like in Montana or something. You know what I mean? Like you're going to have like a more of a melting pot or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like more, more being more introduced experience or whatever with um, people of all cultures, Asian, black, white, um, Israeli, Italian, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, big, um, you know, like you don't have a Chinatown. At least I assume you don't have a Chinatown in like Bozeman, Montana. You know what I mean? I, I Whereas, would imagine, like, no. In big cities, you have stuff like that. You have Koreatown, Chinatown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, there's areas like you said where the Persians are. Um. um what else is yeah, there? African communities. There's a lot of stuff. Everything. Yeah, but I'm California. thinking like specific areas, like. Yeah, I mean, you know, you go somewhere yeah, and it's like all Italian. It's like a you Russian get like area. The best Italian yeah, food. It's like a Russian. You go somewhere you get the bomb Chinese food or whatever. Oh, so, yeah. um, but anyways, check that video out. I think it has something to do with Trevor Noah. But also, if you watch this week, whatever John Oliver's show is called, it was on at the end of that. But basically, she was saying like the social contract was broken by the oppressor. So why should because the black folks in Tulsa and whatever the other city were, were trying to play by the rules. You know what I mean? They were trying to have their own community and build their own wealth and whatnot and not rely on the government. 
And then the oppressor didn't want that, so they went and took it from him anyways. So she was saying, you guys broke the social contract. Why should I give a shit about Target? Like, we don't right. own this Target. This, you know, everyone says, why are you burning your own neighborhood down? We don't own this shit. Target, we don't own Target. We don't own CVS. We don't own Walgreens. So just because it's in that neighborhood doesn't mean they own it. So what she was saying was a good point. Um, that was a good video. I watched that today, actually. Yeah. And the the one they showed that I first, when I first heard about it was on Last Week Tonight or whatever John Oliver show. But the whole clip is a lot longer. And by the end, she you could see why she's like furious, like you, steam coming out her ears. You talk about the one where it's like from behind, right? Mm mm. Oh, she's like on a stage, like a stage thing, a microphone no, outside. No, no, no. This, oh, no, no. This is outside in front of a store that's like boarded up. And like after she's done talking, oh, yeah, yeah, then her yeah, mom yeah, gives yeah. her a hug. That's or oh, that's right. Okay, okay. I'm yeah. thinking of another one. I saw a different one today. Um, when you said board, because the one I saw was like she was standing like this built stage thing and like it was like from the back and she was talking to everybody. There's outside. another thing I want to say too, but I can't remember, but I'll think of it here. Uh, only couple things I want to say is like there was somebody who listened to the podcast. Shout out to them. I can't remember their name. They're in the military, and I guess they're military police, you know. And he said that we... Oh, I know what I want to say. Go ahead. He said that he thought it was kind of messed up that we didn't say that there's good cops out there or something like that. Now, and this is something I was explaining to my wife about this, because when he sent the message to me, my wife, I wasn't mad, but like... And here's the thing when it comes to that. And Ruby, shout out to Ruby, sent me a clip of J. Cole doing an interview with uh, Combat Jack about that a long time ago. And I remember watching that and listening to that podcast. And here's the thing. I know people that are the good cops thing. People say it all the time, like, oh, I know there's good cops out there. I know that. Whatever. There was two points I want to make. I know people, great people who are cops. Okay. Like talk sports, movies, television, kids, wives, good people I know are cops. I don't know if they're good cops. That is the difference between this. Like there are people, and I don't have to tell you who it is, but there are people that like we've hung out with, I've hung out with like planning guys trips and stuff like that. And then turn my TV on, they're arrested for homicide. I had no idea that they were murdered. I would have said this is one of the greatest people I know. This is a great guy. Like, I would have said that. But I don't know. And that's the thing with these situations. Like, I know some people that are in these, that are police officers that are great people, like seem like they're good people. I would love to assume that they're the exact same out there being a police officer, but I don't know. So I'm not going to jump out the window by saying stuff like that. That's one. Two, the other point that I wanted to make was, about and I was going back and forth with the guy in the DMs about it. Like he was like talking about the looting and stuff like that. My whole situation with that is is that like I know for a fact that police, detectives, everybody, they despise people who do not snitch on people that do bad things in their community, commit crimes. That's the same thing that the community wants from the police. I need yeah. you to snitch on him yeah. if he's doing bad things. Because the the, the thing is is that like they're under the assumption that like well, you're bad too. Like you're all bad. And it's like, you no. Know, well, you know what? You're all bad too. If he's bad, like, you can't look down on me for doing something that you won't even. Do. You're not practicing it. Don't expect me to practice it. And don't look down on me. And don't come into my community demanding this and that. And like, look what you're doing in your own community. Hey, no, no, no. Look what you're doing to the system. Like, if you are a legit good cop, and like, I get it, man. Like, I get it. You know the. Police told more on other police. You know what? It might be okay. People might feel a little comfortable telling on. Uh, you never know. Like it's just the whole process. So those are the only two things. And like I said, I didn't want to harbor long. Or I feel like we made our point. A lot of people like the show. Got a lot of good responses. Fine with it. Made our points. But I did want to recap anything. If you wanted to say anything else, that's all I have. Like that's all I'm. Yeah. yeah. Um. The other thing I forgot to leave out about that <laughs> my race thing is. The reason why I said it like that in the episode is because if a police officer looks at me, he's not going to think I'm like an illegal alien, legal immigrant from Mexico or whatever. He's going to look at me and be like, oh, that's a white guy. So that's the privilege. That's why I say it like that, because when you look, you don't look at me and think my name is Jose or Juan or whatever. You look at me and think my name is Tim or John or something like that. You know what I mean? That's the privilege that I was trying to point out by saying that. And so, like, some people were like, is he white and Mexican, whatever. Anyways, that's to finish that point off. It's funny because somebody had, like, messaged, you know, I told you, talking about coming on the show if he's in Arizona. And he's he spelled a word. I don't know why. <laughs> Hey, it made I mean, me laugh. It made me laugh. On my birth certificate is like the white spelling of the name, but like my like I said, my dad's side of the family is Mexican. I'm sure they when I was ever like 
My family is in terms of like the older people in the family passed away young. Like both my grandparents passed away, grandfathers passed away when I was a kid. So like I didn't have that many experiences with them, but I'm sure they call me Jorge or whatever in that household. You know what I mean? When I was over there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it is, is what it is. I'm told from what I understand that my last name at one point was Martinez and it was shortened to Martin. Maybe when the Hispanic side of the family came from Mexico to the U.S., to more Americanize it because same kind of thing, oppression, whatever, you know what I mean? Like Martinez and Martin don't sound like you can, you can probably get away with some, telling someone like your last name is Martin and you're white, but if you're Martinez, they know, you know what I mean? So. See, you know what's funny is about my last name too, because mine isn't spelled like you see my last name, you would say Robinson, but it's no right. in in the middle. And I remember my grandma telling me about, it changed at some point. Some reason they removed the end yeah. from it, and I don't know well, why. I mean, that's a listen with this, with this uh, um, genre. We're in a podcast. There, we there are obviously a lot of young listeners. Even a lot of young black listeners may not understand that, like a lot of your surnames are the surname of the slaveholder that your f- heritage came from. You know what I right. mean? Like, if say your heritage came from. Um, Sierra Leone or Congo or whatever obviously your last name is not Smith right but when your family was sold to that right slave owner you took that name the, yeah that's the name they gave you so like it's weird you just gotta read up on American history man because there's a lot of weird stuff to me that's weird um, there's just a lot of weird stuff that now is socially normal acceptable or whatever that back then we would be appalled by you know what I oh, mean yeah. and like this is one thing that I've never talked about um, in I mean, people know it who know me, but it's not something I talk about on the podcast ever. It's not something I talk about in social circles. My white side of my family, so obviously, like I said, half my family's from Mexico. My dad's side of the family. My white side of the family is from Virginia and Louisiana. So I can guarantee you, I don't know without a shadow of a doubt, but I can guarantee you there was slavery in my family. Like people yeah. in my white side of the family own slaves. That makes me feel very uncomfortable. Even though it's whatever, right, yeah, what are yeah. we, 300 years later, 400 years later, whatever. It's so weird to think like, because I don't associate, and I don't mean to sound this bad, like, I don't think everyone is in the South of the country is bad, obviously. I don't right. think everyone in the South is racist. But a lot of times when people say the South, the South takes offense to it. I'm not trying to offend anybody in the South. But when you hear like your family's from Louisiana and your family's from Virginia, that's like my mom and my mom... And, my mom's parents' sides of the families. One side was from Louisiana. One side was from um, Virginia. Obviously, originally from Europe years, decades, or whatever, hundreds of years back. But it's just weird to hear, like, I was born in Southern California. I have zero ties to Virginia <laughs> or Louisiana or any having a Southern accent or whatever. My mom was born in D.C. She grew up in Missouri. Um, It's so weird to think about that. You know what I mean? Like... And there is, even though I have zero to do with it, there is, like, a feeling of guilt. It's totally weird. I don't get it. Well, it's not even... Yeah, but, like, th- that's the lo- a lot of the issue with some of this is, is that, like, acknowledging it and feeling it is a part of having the compassion and understanding yeah, yeah. of it. Like, so it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's, like, the ones are like, oh, man, come on, man. I like, get over it a long time ago. Yeah. Like, everyone's been circulating that clip of, like, Michael Che, which he was supposed to come on the podcast, for the record, from Saturday Night Live. And uh, he... Uh, what clip is it? I don't know. The stand-up comedy clip where he's, like, talking about, like, how, like, he's like, man, people just expect black people just to get over stuff so quick. Oh, and they'd be yeah. like, oh, slavery. Yeah. Oh, that's 400 years ago. And, and then he said, like... Um, it was something else yeah, I can't remember. We talked about it on the show the the Civil Rights Act was passed in yeah. 1964. And I mean, he talked about something else, and then he said like, "Oh God, police shooting! Like you still mad about that two weeks ago?" Then he said, "But 9 11, you're like never forget." Oh like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a good that. that's a good clip. But like, you know, and, and it is. But like, that's a lot of that. Many is, more African Americans died in slavery than Americans died in. Oh, yeah. 9/11. And I, by saying that, I'm not That's belittling 9/11 no disrespect. at all. My sister flew the day before 9/11 literally back from the East Coast to California. If it had been one day difference, it could have been her plane they were on. So right. like, I always think about that too. It's just like life experiences and things you know about your past make you think a certain way. And like the video 
so the, uh, one of the other videos that I saw was like the people who were kneeling, the, all the white people. I don't know what city it was, but they were all kneeling and renouncing their white privilege. You can't renounce white privilege, fam. It's your skin color. Like to me, that's corny. You can help, you can be a part of the solution, but you can't. You know what I mean? Like I don't know exactly how to put it into words. Like, but it's it's getting weird. Man. It's some of the stuff is getting weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. Though. I seen some all you white, need to do is listen. All you need to do is have be reasonable, have common sense, and show empathy, compassion. That's it. That's it. And if you have any, if you're white and have any privilege in the ability to like change a system or take charge in a system, be fair, be equal. Be like that's it. Like that, that that's all it is. Like I seen like more like white protesters were washing the feet of black protesters. I was like, okay, like okay. now, <laughs> hey man, cool, but what are you? Yeah, if you just well, do seeing, a favor or whatever. Seeing but. them cats wearing them can't take clothes, fam. Oh yeah, come on, man. Like the Democrat, you know, I'm, I'll not, let gonna, you I'm not gonna get into that though because you know why. You listen, know I'm not going to get into that. Listen, I'm just not. We don't talk about politics, politics on here. They're clowns, okay? Oh, There's fam. no doubt about it. Uh, come on, man. Clowns. Like, come on. Like, the the, the problem with that is, like, quit trying to, like, just, what's your plan? <laughs> <laughs> what is the plan govern, for the yeah. problem govern, right now? Govern the country, um, you know, uh, put laws, enact laws that... Get us on the path to equality. That's not, it. not you get out there and do stunts yeah. and a dashiki or something. Fam, what you yeah. doing? Man? Like <laughs> I'm sitting there, like, all right, well, you know what? You or you just want me to like you and be like, wow, I'm gonna vote for. It. Like, no, don't do that. I don't got time. Somebody for was it. tweeting like jokes about like which um, staff, which jokes, staff aide was the one to press go on the yeah, was, like, like the submit on the order. <laughs> Uh, come on, man. And was he? And was it like a black guy or a white guy? And if it was a black guy, was it like the white guy, um, <laughs> like trying to get him to do it? And he was like, I don't know, if this is a good idea, but I'll press the button. I've seen a lot of funny stuff. I see somebody that was like, if all lives really matter, how come y'all won't wear a mask? And I was like, that's a good point. Oh yeah. Well, anytime there's like strife of, of any kind, social. I mean, that's when the funniest social media oh, people yeah. come out. It's obviously not appropriate to be saying some of the stuff. It's not. But <laughs> some of the stuff is funny. Anyways, let me just also talk about when you were talking about the good police officer thing. Um, I posed, I don't know if it was on this show last week or if just um, for my social media questions about whether is it the job that is uh, the word poisonous is not the right word, but in, in the along those lines, is it the job itself that makes people act like that? Is it power that makes people act like that? Or are there really that many bad people? So that's one angle that I was trying to figure out. There needs to be a study done about is it the job itself or is it the people? So, I mean, I don't want to cut you off, but so when I was in college, my background is social psychology, social psych, all that stuff. I studied all of that stuff, like the, the reasoning behind actions and stuff, all that stuff. And I remember we did this um this guy, this teacher, I mean, he has to be dead because I think he was like 107 when he was teaching us. Like, he was old. I was, sorry, I don't know why I said that, but he was old. Okay. And I remember he said, well, Who's the leader? Name great leaders. Name great leaders. And everybody in the room, you know, Martin Luther King, JFK, you know, we're, <laughs> we're older still. We're, I think we're like 19, 20 at the time. And I remember I said, Hitler. Like, I yelled that out. And they looked at me like, <gasps> like them, but the teacher didn't. And and the question was a good leader. He was a great leader. He was an awful human being. He was the right. worst person under the sun. That's when I go back to what we're talking about now, the different layers and variables. So the one of the officers that was arrested in Minnesota, three that was his fourth day. Two of them. Damn. His fourth day as yeah. training officer was the man that was uh, yeah. on George yeah. Floyd. Ma'am. And and, the FTO and somebody sent me it up. and and I'm not gonna say who sent me, but she sent me a picture of it and said, "Well, my thoughts of this." And I said, "You know what? It's like, it's like you you got your chiefs, your commanders, lieutenants, sergeants, all these people down onto your training officer. It's like parents. Like you pass down these actions that are learned and trained. He's gonna pass it to the next rookie. He's gonna pass it to the next yeah. rookie, and then they take." And, and look, there are some crazy people out in this world in these streets that are doing stuff. And I understand the job is scary, period, like period, all right? Because I have seen actual, 
the most heinous situation situations mm, turn into peaceful go to jail and i've seen like trespassing in front of circle k turn into a, a all-out shootout and right. you're like what is going on so like it's really hard and i'm not making excuses for anybody but like those singular situations they you magnify them to like this is just how it is out here like no, no, you, yeah. it, it's so many variables to this but like you said a study does need to be done but it's, it's the study of that is so difficult to conduct yes, yes. it's like I mean, it's almost like doing an ancestry doc. Like, it's like some, like, it's deep. You got to go back until, like, them black and white pictures we see. You got to go back, all right? <laughs> and it's something that can't be done, but it's not even that. Like, so let's talk about, like, Kanye and all this. I, I mean, I'm, I'm done. You, I don't know if you had any more. Yeah, say yeah I got two things. So, the along the line, so anyways, the, the four-day thing. Like, I had a, com- I got one more thing that's more important than this, but the four-day thing, I talked about that with my wife briefly because, um, that was the day that news came out. And I said, I have empathy for those officers who only been on the job four days. Oh, yeah. Are they supposed to speak up to somebody who's their training officer who's been on the job 18 years? So while I disagree, they didn't have the gall to speak up. I understand oh, yeah. why they didn't. And that right there is empathy. You just empathize with the situation. You It could have been a wrong decision, but you understand why they wouldn't have said anything. So... I'm, do I feel sorry for the 18 year man who was on his neck? Of course not. I hope he rots in jail. Do I feel bad for the other ones? No, because they didn't speak up. But I empathize with the situation. Right. I do because I've been in situations where a training person has been angry that a new person is telling them what to do in a situation like yeah. that, and then in, in that situation can go bad for that person. Like it just a lot of bad situations can happen with you know in organizations like that. That's how I put it. Uh, <laughs> so the, the other thing that I want to talk about real oh, quick, and we, we won't go on long, but the the whole defund the police thing, because we knew we saw what happened in Minnesota. Lord, um, people going off the deep end with what this means. I'm it's only going to say a couple of things about this because, again, use your head, use common sense. I talked about Camden, New Jersey last week. I've been talking about Camden, New Jersey now for two weeks, a week before we came for the podcast. Anyone who's seen my normal social me- social media has seen me retweeting it. Go read about what happened in Camden, New Jersey in 2013. That is what defund the police means. It doesn't mean you don't have police in your town. It means you restructure the entire department to put more of an emphasis on community-based policing and Violent acts by the police are the last resort. And that's exactly what Camden did. I think violent crime in in Camden since 2013 is down 60%. They went from having one of the highest homicide rates in the country. So people may not know. Camden, New Jersey was top five most violent cities in America in the 80s and 90s. I mean, sure, there's more than one in in Hmm. New Jersey. But no, Camden was definitely. Camden was top five most violent cities in the United States of America per capita. Now, obviously, right. you know, it's small city, 70,000 residents. They're not going to have the crime that L.A. is going to have on a numbers basis. But on a per capita basis, they were top five in the country in violent crime. Homicides, ag assaults, you know, whatever else you put in that category. They've decreased their violent crime by 60 percent. Homicides by, I think, you know, um, at one point, I think it was like. I'm probably making something up here, but let's say there was like 80 homicides one year, 70 homicides. And again, it doesn't sound like a lot, but in a small town, it's a lot. And then last year, I think there was only 22. So the Wait, resident- 22 for the year? Yeah. Okay, that's a dramatic. I mean, this is over a seven year period, but it doesn't happen overnight, but this yeah, is over a seven year oh, period. Okay. But the whole point is. The, and I won't say all what happened because we'll, you'll get into it. Go read the story. Trust me. Basically, the officers all got let go and they had to reapply, even the chief, up the entire department. Anyways, the whole point was basing it around making relationships with your residents. Oh, and Camden is like one of the highest poverty levels in the United States of America. I, that's what I was well. writing down because I was like, yeah. look up there like. Yes. Yeah, okay. Super high poverty poverty rates. And as we know, that's where crime happens because people don't have another outlet for anything. There are no social programs to get them to work, to get them learning trades or whatever. That's what we need to do better in this country to get people out of poverty so there is not that crime. And don't make it a race issue because it's not. It's a locality issue and a poverty issue. That happens in every race. Um, but anyways, Camden completely changed what they do as a police department and literally 
pulling your gun out, pulling your taser out, pulling your billy club or whatever you want to call it is last resort. And they work hand in hand with the residents. The residents trust them now. The residents, it. I think it's like 40% Hispanic, 40% black, and like 10% white. And I'm sure you can probably guess the police department demographics are not the same <laughs> as the neighborhood. So that's a powerful story. It was, And again, I talked about last week. It was the only city that had the police officers did not dress in riot gear. They walked with the protesters from the very first day. There were zero arrests. There was zero looting. And there was zero rioting. The only city in America. And... You know, the points that you're making, like, and that's people understanding that defunding, like, people are like, get rid of the ball. Like, no, okay, it's not. Yes, that's not you what it, do it a little means bit of restructuring. Research. You have to do a little bit of research. And, you know, one of the things that, like, a major, I will tell you this. This is how I'll put it. That process that, you know, describing about what you just said, like, making them reapply and stuff like that. Don't know to the extent. Don't know, like, how far or like, what that meant, whatever. Pff, that would never fly. <laughs> just one in the It might of, happen in Minneapolis. If it happens in Minneapolis, it could happen anywhere. I need, to, I need to know what, like, their force is. They like. already voted on it. I mean, well, I, I shouldn't say they've, I mean, we know they passed something, but I don't, I didn't look it into could, it. But anyways. But is is, many, is that a is that a top 10 major city? I don't know if it's top 10, but it's a big it's city. Not, it's I mean, big they city. have, fam, they have, like, Final Fours and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if they played a Super Bowl there or not, but they have big stuff in that town. My I mean, cons- all of America is there. Like, my concern <laughs> with, like, you know, with the pandemic, and this is the last thing on this, sort of, but, like, with the pandemic thing, like I said, like, the pandemic, a lot of states, I need a lot of states and a lot of cities to, to learn from this. You can't take your cues fully from the government, like, the government as an entire chief. Like you could p- make a plan for your state, what you're going to do, yeah. and whatever, whatever. There's no one-size-fits-all for this kind of stuff. For, for policing, there may be, even if you have different – sorry. If you have different demographics, maybe you don't need to restructure your police department. But if 90% of your officers are white and 50% of your residents are black, you have to find some way to – uh, um, communicate, meet each other, respect each other, so this kind of shit doesn't happen. And see, this is the issue that I have with that. Like, I don't know. I'm assuming that I, I would love to assume that our state is building this awesome plan for next time if a pandemic in 20 years, whatever we're gonna do, we're gonna we got this plan. Yada yada. I well, Arizona's getting worse right now. So yeah, where are you? Uh, our hospitals are out of control now. With this, I haven't heard anybody a plan like. And it, uh, nothing like not even like a what we're gonna do a structure. I've seen some, uh, what do you want to call it? Media, what do we call it? You know what I'm talking about? Walking with the group. What do you mean? The linebacker. Oh, um, solidarity? Or? No optics. You know, some optics. Oh, optics. I've oh. seen some optics. Okay, <laughs> but I've seen some optics that like don't they're not backed by anything. Like, I need to see, like, some ba- like, a plan, like something, like trying. I, in these situations, in all these police shooting situations, you always hear the same thing from police departments. Oh, more training, more training. I don't think no one's actually gotten more training. Like, none. What you said about Camden with the last resort, your gun, taser, baton, all that, that's literally what every, like, a new assessment on when you should actually put your hands on somebody as simple as that there are a lot of situations that could be diffused i've been in those situations where it was just like you know a little ruckus and the police come crashing out they whips i'm talking about yeah. skirting through a lot i've seen police cars crash into other people's cars in the parking lot because they just trying to get there so quick yeah. i know and heard of all the job is a de-escalator not an there escalator. are there are officers who don't like working certain shifts because it's boring like, they're looking for the, like, ah, they can't, you know, whatever. Right, right. And it's like, well, no, no, you got to keep the peace. Like, and the part of the job is to stay alive. That's, like, one of the main priorities. Keep the peace, stay alive. You shouldn't be out there just like, ah, I got to get out there. I want to. They work these shifts because they know when the crazy stuff happens. Like, it's a lot to go on. It's a lot of things I could talk about. Probably talk about it a little bit again next week. I don't know. Kanye West, you know, I don't know. Like, <laughs> what are you trying to get at? The long game stuff? Yeah. I was talking about this years ago when we first We were said about this it. on the podcast. Yes. So, what if he's like planning this thing? Let me. No, 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 no. Okay. A lot of people have said this to me. Yo, are you wearing Yeezys now? Were you going to wear Yeezys now? Like, really asking me that. And now, look, anybody who decided and maintained their, like, I will still wear Yeezys through all of his nonsense, perfectly fine. Like, stand for that. 
a lot of people are using this as like a whoo like I, I knew it like I see I yeah, you know yeah. like that and it's like no 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 don't use this as a confirmation or affirmation of like man I'm glad I still wore my Yeezys and all that the one thing about what makes this so funny about this like long game plan is is that like Kanye West is like capable of like some type of tact or planning you can go down the list of Kanye's inability to be tactful or anything, rushing on the stage to embarrass Taylor Swift, getting on live TV, George Bush don't like black people, getting on Saturday Night Live with crazy rants, talking about Trump as like a father figure to him. Like, he's not tactful, but now he has this like mastermind plan. Like, I'm gonna wear the MAGA hat. Fam, he, even with that process, even with that process, he wasn't just wearing a MAGA hat. He was still trying, he was no tact and like, anything describing his reasoning for backing Trump as much as he did. He went in TMZ and said slavery was a choice. Now, he probably meant something. I, mean, I give him a little bit. Of, it's like, man, shut up. But like, at some point in time, you got to know when to shut your mouth. There is no, Kanye ain't got no plan. And this is my talk about, I hate when people do wrong and can't just come to the table and be like, man, I was wilding. I was tripping. I'm sorry. I even, a small part of me, a very small part of me even feels like somebody like Trump. If Trump came out one day and was like, you know what? I am in over my head. It just got away from me extremely fast. Uh, whatever. I think people would be like, man, get, get, get out of here. Like, thank you. We, okay. All right. Get out. All right. Kanye is one of those people. When like StockX messed up, I said like, man, just say like you messed up. Don't come through with some nonsense. Like, just come through and say, you know what? I really believe that this was a thing. I thought this was a change. You know, understanding what's happening with my community and my people. I'm from Chicago. My people, his people, have been suffering in Chicago way before all this nonsense. Yeah. In black culture and communities, even though black communities and black Twitter stuff, boy, they can get some people out of here. <laughs> Very forgiving. Like, we'll let you back in, like, eventually. Kanye West, I'm sorry. I'm not buying it. I don't care. You can send me whatever you want. You Man, you're going to have to show. First of all, this is your master plan. Why you tell everybody? Like, you could have still got some people out, man. Like, you, you done told a plan now. Like, this is, it just makes no sense to me. Whatever, man. I'm not trying to, like, destroy him because I won't wear Yeezys anymore. And you know what? I don't even know about that anymore. I might wear Yeezys because you know why? In hindsight... I'd have to give up everything on earth to like really be in something like the whole thing with Mark Wahlberg coming out. Fam. If you've really known anything about Mark Wahlberg, these stories have been out there forever. I've seen him do interviews about being like that younger. People are like, oh, that's it. What happened? You know, he's a racist, growing up a racist, you know. Oh, yeah. In Boston, what are you yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, sorry, Boston. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Boston. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Rick, and that's the homie. Look. He's from Boston. Grew up in a different area. Not to making excuses for it, but I've heard these stories before. I've seen him do interviews about it. I've seen him contrite about it. I've seen him talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Now, Mark Wahlberg is psh, up there. It's like celebrity star status, money, all that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, the <laughs> and, but look, my, my thing is, is that I, I, the process, one of the main processes that people need to understand about rioting and protesting is that you're trying to get people to change their ways. I feel like... Yeah. Mark Wahlberg has learned, based off interviews and stuff I've seen, he's changed his ways from his youth from that. I don't believe in going back, and I like to give him a hard time about it, like Bosa. You know, I like to give him a hard time about it, but I don't care. Like, you go back and grab, now, that was kind of college, though, but, like, you go back and grab a 40-year-old man's, okay. You, no, no, no. I, I, you I, go back and grab, like. I a, wasn't reacting to that. My thing, when you said Bosa is just, like, I don't understand, because you can put Wahlberg in there, too. They both. Joey Bo no, or not Joey Bosa was what's the other one? Nick. He wears Jordans on the field. Mark Wahlberg is signed by Jordan Brand. Right. I've and I mentioned this last week is like on Twitter you could see someone retweeting trap music and then a Donald Trump tweet right below it. I don't understand this like mentality where you can separate the fact that you're wearing right. a shoe made by a black person, popularized by black folks in like black culture and then say the racist shit, shit you said i i don't like that i don't understand how someone's brain mind brain whatever works that way it doesn't make any sense to right. me anyways you, but no like i was saying like I, I i want i want a lot of this to like 
help people grow and understand and be contrite, compassionate for your man, like, and look at each other as human beings and understand that there are wrongs out there. Like, you know, like it's about white privilege. White privilege, you know, you, they were showing like crimes, same judge, black person, the same crime, he gets 28 years in prison, he gets nine months in, you know, county jail, like whatever the case yeah. may be. Like they were showing a lot of stuff like that. And, you know, that's what we're looking for. Like, you know, and everybody's like, I had no idea about that about Mark Wahlberg. And then you haven't been, you're just not around long enough like i mean we watch mark Wahlberg grow up okay like <laughs> so you know and like i said i'm not trying to give him a pass for any of his past stuff like yes he was trash for that dirty i've seen him but fam fight the fight now i'm not going back in history like you know chasing down like oh you see what whoever fam, stop it okay like people people forget boy they used to love donald trump or donald trump used to be in a club with diddy and all them people used to love donald trump man. uh I used to love. I've been them, listening man. to Nip a lot lately, a lot lately, and it's uh, the Apple. You ever download the like Apple? I mean, they don't call it hits, but like the necessary songs from uh, from somebody. You know, oh, what yeah, I'm yeah, about? yeah. Uh, the, um, not essentials, essentials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's I think it's it called essentials. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nipsey Hustle essentials. Anyways, FTD is on that. Album. I'm sure you understand what FTD stands for. I'm not going to say it right now because there's no need. <laughs> but when the song opens, so it's technically not a Nipsey song, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it was a YG, YG song. Yeah. But Nipsey's on it. But anyways, so the song starts out with YG talking. And he basically is saying, like, we used to think you were super cool. Yeah. And then the song starts. So, yeah, I mean. People did. I did. I anyone? tried it for The Apprentice. I used to buy Donald Trump suits, watches, cufflinks, ties. I had it all. I used to love The Apprentice. I tried out. All right. Okay, now you wild fam. I mean, I knew you tried out. I know you copping stuff. Day. Well, the Donald Trump suits and shirts sometimes fit perfect. I'm not gonna lie to you now. He just guts. Okay, like you gotta chill out. Um, anyways, the Kanye thing. No, oh, yeah, Kanye. I I always hesitate to say whether someone is intelligent unintelligent or it's just a narcissism issue or maybe something else i do the same thing with trump um he went to penn he's went to an ivy league school i don't think he's necessarily an unintelligent person he, maybe mm. all the things exactly. synapses aren't firing maybe the of that. common sense is not there uh, I think somebody at that level you can well, have the decision of like common sense he doesn't yeah but he doesn't write or speak like someone who you would expect went to pen anyways uh, so he doesn't so listen to obama speak and then listen to trump speak yeah but we're I talking mean, about like if trump was speaking about business again ethics, speaking has nothing to do with intelligence either i'm yeah, just yeah. saying like and these are the things like, that we assume because when i see trump and all that speaking stuff like fam what is he doing because this is not his setting like what are you doing here you have never done this at any political level whatsoever governor senate state mayor not right. any, any official you haven't had to address a people with something now you might have to get in front of some people and talk about like fire him business, business sure. blah, blah, blah. he might be very comfortable in that setting this one's like what are you doing here me you you're a regular man you're a phenomenal great phenomenal great day ever greatest day ever all time america's looking i'm like yo I, you would think uh, i mean i'm just saying he talks like a simpleton like that he doesn't speak like he went to Wharton Business School at UPenn. Anyways, along the lines with Kanye, I can't tell if Kanye is unintelligent or intelligent and just a narcissist or whatever it is, because along the lines of playing the long game, that's an intelligence scam. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if he's fully all there to be able to do that. Um, See, he is. We talked about it. He he might be. No, we you and I talked about it. We talked about it. He thinks he's transcended yeah. the regular person. Right. Like, oh no, he believes he is. Yeah, yeah. But like, I'm talking about is he? Not he does he believe? Like he, the way he looks at the world is like not how we see it. Right. It's something special. Like that's his problem. Right. That well, they both have the same problem. But anyways, what was the comment about throwing his MAGA hats away and whatever else actually from him? Or did someone... I, it looked GLC, like it was an anecdote from... GLC, from GLC is a is Chicago rapper or oh, I think okay. GLC, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of his friends, like whatever. Like it came from him about like... I he's explaining the long game. The whole thing about that, the whole... I'm very bothered by the whole woke or, or not even woke um, free thinker 
terminology you see on Twitter, which is what Kanye would kind of was going along the lines of. Free thinker, when you look at people on Twitter, cryptocurrency, free thinker, whatever, those are tinfoil hat people. Those aren't people like it depends. It, no, no, no. I'm Sometimes. talking about this movement of being a free thinker on Twitter. Um, the majority of it is tinfoil hats. They like to say that they're a free thinker when really all they're doing is confirming the bias that they already have. So a lot of people who've had Kanye's back since this came out are those people who are saying we told y'all he was a free thinker all along, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't understand. Free thinking can be right. I'm not talking about the terminology. I'm no, talking no, about no. the way it's used the way in it's 2020. Uh, yes, it is. Saying I'm a, if you go to someone's profile on, on oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, Twitter okay, yeah, yeah, and it says different. hashtag free thinker. No, okay, yeah. It depends no. on. Being a free thinker, like I look at Jim Carrey, I look at him as a free thinker. Well, yeah, you're talking life. about huh? abstract. You talking about abstract people. I look at Jane Smith or eclectic. And Jane yeah, Smith. Sometimes I'd be like, what? what? Sometimes I'd be like, you know, what? <laughs> yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about eclectic, uh, uh, eclecticism or whatever it is. Uh, um, being that's free like, thinking. No. Yeah. You're not in the terminology I'm talking about. You might. You sound like you're talking about like um, hippies and like wildflowers and doing drugs and just being a, out the there floating thing. no it's not you don't like how it's being used no, but no. their actions are free thinking no no people are using that term to describe a specific type of um political movement or whatever that's literally okay. what it is um and maybe they're corrupting corrupting the term i have no idea obviously the words when you put free thinking together means you think for yourself that's not how it works. It's groupthink. They just think the same way and confirm their biases that other people have already said. But anyways, so I've seen a lot of that even before this. There was something that came out about Kanye before this came out that was right before the George Floyd death, I'm pretty sure. Because I remember seeing things on Twitter where like people were like, we told y'all he was right all along. I'm just like, how could anyone see that. look at Kanye and... St- I, I just don't understand why he is the person that they put up as like. I don't either. W- w- are they doing it because they think he got over on conservatives, or they? I don't. <sighs> it doesn't make any sense to me. He's the chosen one, which is fine if you know how to be the chosen one. Like he doesn't know how to handle it. Like he doesn't. I mean, we're talking about somebody who, you man, I get people grow and they change, but man, like he is a completely different person than what he was. Now he's had to deal with a lot more than we have in our lives with fame and money sure. and all kind of stuff. And I well, get it. He almost died in a car accident too. Tons right? of stuff, yeah. And but he was after that was a different person, like you know, and you know. More I like read up on Kanye and stuff like that and go on. I just get more and more concerned with him. I don't think I ever felt concerned with him before. When I read this, for some reason, I made me feel concerned. <laughs> like, okay, he's so narcissistic and within himself that he can't even admit, boy, did I mess up. Like, geez, did I get that wrong? I thought my mind was like, this is the guy who's going to take us there. He said the red MAGA hat was like a Superman cape. Like, he thought that he knew something we didn't and it didn't turn out that way and he hasn't gotten and said i was wrong this is not the way he hasn't done anything like that if if i had to put together a list of people that could actually the the young lady you said that was out there giving the talk and the understanding of like what's going on if there's if i had to put together some people to think i think kanye i would have picked kanye probably like 10 years ago, I probably would have said, oh, Kanye is one of those people that could, like, rally you, make you feel like something. It's not even in that realm. Like, and it's, and it's like. Oh, his, I said that 15 years ago. Man. He, it, you, you know, but you know what, though? I no, I, I have never been a, a huge Pac fan, music-wise. Always Kanye, love the stuff that Kanye he says. Kanye could have been Tupac if he wanted to. Oh, 100%. I've always loved the stuff that all Pac interviews, all this stuff, music-wise. Love his music. But, like, I wasn't, like, a Ryan, like a lot of people. I've gone back and watched some Pac stuff. I mean, you want to talk about some, f- like, philosophical, like, yeah, he's beyond genius. his time. But see, here's the thing. You can tell he's a genius. You can't like, tell with some of these people they're geniuses. See, you can tell Kanye's a genius. He doesn't know how to be, though. That's the problem. Okay, that's a different type that I'm talking about. Now, that's, I'm that talking could be about, mental health, I'm though. talking about someone who has intelligence who... Um, 
uh, let's how, put how it am this I going to word this exactly? Someone who's intelligent, who doesn't know how to um, control their intelligence, is dangerous. Someone That's, who is intelligent, who knows how to use it appropriately, is not dangerous. Kanye is like, it's, it's like the person that like, it's like when you watch a movie or a television show or something and like they've come up with the secret to like, you know, what are those movies or, sh- oh, um, Silicon Valley. When they figured out at the very last episode, they figured out like the ultimate program. Remember that Tesla drove off by itself? And they were like, we got to destroy this program because if it gets in the wrong hands. Oh, yeah. It's like that sort of thing. Like Kanye, and that, that's why I go to mental health. Like This is where I'm like, you know what? He has mental health because I do think Kanye is a genius on some level, but he doesn't know how. So you know, Elon Musk, like he's like. No, he's don't compare him to him. You well, know Elon what? Musk is a weirdo. He's ugh, Kanye Musk is a weirdo. I'm talking about. Elon Musk doesn't believe coronavirus is real. He believes that um, government's closing down or infringing upon constitutional rights. Forcing people to wear a mask to go in a grocery store has nothing to do with constitution. So Somebody just, at his level is way too protected by a lot of other things for him to have any opinions on. Like, like he's, he's an insane person. I have zero good to say about him. Zero good. Um, That's it about Kanye. I mean, look, Kanye... I don't believe it. Will I start wearing Yeezys again? I don't know. And it wouldn't be because of this. And it wouldn't be against that. It's just because, like, you know what? What am I? Hey, what am Listen, I? In, in terms of me and Kanye with sneakers, I never associated it with that. I didn't care. I'll cop Yeezys, resell them, and keep the money all day long. I, do I still have three pairs of my own? Yes. The thing for Kanye that stopped with me is... To me, he's much more powerful musician than he is a salesman. That's where you can get your message across is in your music. I stopped listening to Kanye music. I did too. I couldn't. Last thing I listened was Pablo. I mean, that was it. What was the one? Pablo. Was we there one after that? Like yeah, we yeah, didn't listen to that. We didn't listen to none of the other ones after that. We didn't listen to uh, Wyoming see. Sunsets or whatever it was called. And oh yeah, none of that. Price is the King. No. Or I never listened. I think to any another of thing them. that bothered me about Kanye too is the worship. Oh yeah, that, oh, oh yeah. That that people have for him that is way above and beyond what I mean, should be deserved. Like, well, we know he's a narcissist, but I'm saying like he did the Wyoming thing, and people like went out of their way to go out there, and yeah. there are people that have never been to the else. state of Wyoming was taking private jets. So they said Wyoming was lit. No, all right. Uh, anyway, yeah, ye, yay or ye, whatever the ye, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't listen to that. Life of Pablo. Mm-hmm. Never Ye listened to was one the word. one from Wyoming. Didn't listen to that. Jesus is King. Didn't listen yeah. to that. Um, I don't know what this kid's see ghosts is. I think he. Oh, that was him and Cuddy. Oh, album. okay. All right, I was gonna say to I don't know if he produced that or what, but I didn't listen to that either. So I haven't listened to any of. I'm talking. I haven't listened to one song off of him. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. It came on the radio. I changed it. Only stuff I listen to is the old stuff, and some of that stuff. If that. it's like a trash song, I tell Hannah to change the radio. I don't count. There are certain. Listen, at the, at my wedding, we played Good Life when we came down. Like we played two things. We played. Um, um, can't tell Meek. me nothing. Oh. Uh, all right. What's the song with Meek and Rick Ross when Meek was young? Uh, I'm a boss. Oh, okay. They played I'm a boss at the beginning, and then Good Life. So I mean, oh, they played the the interlude, uh, the intro. Yes, yeah. it's the greatest intro of all time. Um, I don't got nothing else on that. I don't know if you want to talk about Adidas that much. I don't. I mean, honestly, Adidas. What, what do you want to do? Like I just like I was telling somebody they were talking about like Nike. Then you Nike is king, family. If you think Nike doesn't support Republican parties and donate, stop. It, okay. Oh, these well, are powerful all the companies do. Company. All of them do. Like look, I, at, I, look at what Phil Knight's donated to the Republican yeah, Party. Yeah, Phil Knight has donated to the Republican Party more like, than anyone tremendously. Yeah. Okay, I think I even again, saw something about like listen, Tinker doing the same thing. Like I understand why that bothers some people. That doesn't bother me. What bothers me is misinformation. I don't care if someone gives a million dollars or $10 million to their preferred candidate. By don't all means, Knock donate. Out. Yeah. If you want to be into politics, my thing is don't be on social media spreading nonsense. Know what source you're retweeting. Know what you're talking about. Don't watch cable news. I've said that on here before. I don't care if you're left, right, center, so alien, whatever. Too. Don't watch cable news. Um, if it's a big breaking news event then sure you can put on whatever you want but don't watch talking head shows on cable news for to give you facts because i've seen stuff now i will admit i haven't seen as much negativity on msnbc and cnn as i have on fox news and that's just probably because of um the people i follow on on twitter for sneakers or sports or whatever probably are also left leaning so they retweet the left leaning sites um and you know when something crazy is said they're talking about 
about Tucker Carlson or whatever. But um, and then also whenever based upon your um, what I guess what you click on or whatever Twitter knows, you know, it's like Google. Uh, they analytics. know, so they yeah, analytics. They build it up so they show you what's trending for what you would like or whatever. So I don't want to sound a very- lot of those things don't it. You, it's not true. Do your own damn research. What I do when something comes out, like some new news about coronavirus or whatever, search it on Twitter. You go to the Twitter search, literally. Search it on Twitter. Find a source you think is reliable and then see if they post a link to whether it be a medical journal, a news article, oh, whatever. Yeah. I'm not saying that everything, the New York Times or Wall Street Journal or Washington Post or Arizona Republic or whatever puts out every story is true, but know the difference between an opinion piece and a and a news piece. Know the difference between um, uh, 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 the the source itself, whether it's a right leaning paper or left leaning paper or a down the center paper. The Wall Street Journal for years and years and years was right leaning paper. Now the Wall Street Journal. In its editorial pages is probably left leaning slightly, but in the opinion right, page no. is big time right wing. So you just have to know those kind of things about what source you're going to. Like I have people all the time sending me links from like Breitbart and Washington Times oh, yeah. and all these alt right sites. Fam, they have an agenda. Any site, and I'm not talking about only right wing, any site that has an agenda is not the place you should be going to to get your news. Damn. They're telling you that for a reason. CNN and all that isn't allowed in my house. Uh, now, everything's been going on since the virus. It's on in my house. Yeah, yeah. Not as I, much watched, now, I put CNN on because CNN I is the one that's supposed to be right. down the middle, at least on terms of like the civil unrest. I but, put it on for that. But other than that. But I don't allow this in my house because like I don't allow Trump stuff in my house. Period. Because, like, my wife gets too angry about it. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, we're just, like, don't make me angry. Like, I have come to terms with it. It's like a prison sentence. Man, let me do my four years, fam. Get this over with. Like, that's what I'm looking at. Like, he ain't here now. Like, like, Willis. Me and Willis will argue on, t- on text message all day. Like, he's getting impeached, fam. He's not going anywhere, okay? You can pray for the day. No, he's still here. He's right there. He's not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, he's coming. It's coming. They said it. Okay. Listen, we <laughs> we talked about it on here a little while ago. The Democrats embarrass themselves. You know what I mean? We're, embarrassed. We have never on this show pumped up like Pelosi we don't talk and about all the people no. on that side of the aisle because for the most part, what they're doing, there's no benefit to... People in poverty. There's no benefit to um, non-elite in society. Those are the people. That's the craziest thing about being a politician is, or and even you can even take it to being a police officer or whatever else. Fam, you work for the people. You're not serving yourself. You have constituents and citizens that you work for. They pay your salary. Your job should be to appease your people. And I don't mean appease your base. I mean appease all your people. If you have to work hand in hand with someone across the aisle to get something done that benefits everyone the most, even if it benefits like this group comes down and this group goes up a little bit to where it meets, I mean, you just got to do what you got to do. It is what it is. It's a crazy time right now. And I hate and yes, 2020 that. is trash. I feel like I've said that. I mean, the next hats that come out, I was like, I already started like kind of putting something together in my head. Actually, I don't even want to say what it is because somebody would probably steal it. But I mean, fam, twenty twenty is it is an entire trash can. Like it's not even a joke. <laughs> people are like, I need twenty twenty one to get here. Like nah, because I think a lot of people thought twenty nineteen was a little trash too. Yeah. And twenty twenty, I was like, nah, I'm scared of twenty twenty one. Like, you know, anything biblical I've been taught as a kid, I'm like, you know what? If you know. Everything you've taught me, like Jesus is gonna come back and all that, fam. You know it's a good time. You know if it's time, it's time. Like you know, <laughs> if like that's what you believe in. Growing up, I told my mom, I said, you know what, y'all raised us like with the feel like Jesus will be here. Get ready, you better get yourselves ready. He's coming. And back then, oh, we were terrified, you know. And as you get older, you're like, okay. Now I'm like, you know, if this is if that's the, you know, for real, please come back, man. <laughs> it's just out of control here. Um. I got nothing else. I, I don't know. I want to do our list. Uh, you watch Last Dance, right? You have something on there. Yeah, of course. I mean, I still haven't watched the last two episodes, but I'm very familiar with the... Fam, I was a, an adult, basically, during Jordan's entire... Not his entire run, but from... <laughs> it doesn't matter. In, you should have watched 1998, it. I was 19. So, like, I'm aware of... Fam, having those saves still is insane. 
Um, like you act like you've been busy with other. Forty what? Uh, yeah, on. we've been busy with stuff just at the house in general. I think. I mean, I I can't think of especially with like watching everything that's going on with the civil unrest with whatever else. Like, yeah, but this, those episodes aired before. All this. Yeah, you're right. You should have watched those already. Or maybe we did watch them. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. But I already know the story. Yes. I grew up. Every, well, I was do the story. All right. But it was, it's 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 a fen- done phenomenally well. Loved it. Great thing. Now, you're but, not going to ruin anything by talking about it. Let's put it that way. Not. But, you know, one of the best things I did get out of it, and it's probably the first episode of the second episode when they were overseas in France doing like the little expedi- expedition, I mean, ex- <sighs> exhibition, exhibition. Yeah. games, whatever, in France, whatever little tournament. Of how coachable, and I don't think I ever knew this. Like you, you could assume it, but how coachable Jordan was. Like, well, sometimes he knew the game better than the coach did. I didn't. Yeah, but seeing Jordan do yoga on the basketball court with the team, I honestly feel that there are players right now who feel like they'd be above that or beyond that. Like seeing him, who was the greatest mm-hmm. player. Ever. Now, if there's anybody who should have felt like, I ain't doing this yoga stuff. Like, Phil Jackson came in and implemented his philosophy and stuff. And this is a time, you know, hippie and he, all that type of weird stuff. Yeah, but stuff. Jordan hadn't won anything yet. He probably was willing to try whatever. Are you but talking about what you said when he came yeah, in? Yeah, but still. Because Jordan still was always winning what scoring titles and all that yeah, stuff. Like he, was, you know, he had MVPs before he won a championship. The, the understanding of like... And now, Jordan had two other coaches before Phil Jackson, I think. I think he had... Um, Doug Collins. Doug Collins and then the other guy. He was on it for like coach. a year. So, um, but it makes me think of like, and look, I love LeBron to death and all that, but like LeBron's been like, what, eight coaches? Like nine coaches? Like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just the understanding of like what's more important than other things. Like Jordan's will to win... If you have a coach that's willing to coach you and you're as good as you are, you will figure out how to win in that scheme. Like, you can figure it out. There's some good coaches and some bad coaches. There are just times where I feel like now I look at some of these people and LeBron, love them to death, but, like, you're trying to implement your will so much that, like, it ruins the dynamic of a team. Now, I know Kerr and all of them had that same feeling. You mess up. You know, I talk about it all the time. I hate seeing, I hate watching (laughs) LeBron games because, oh my God, I can't stand to watch somebody mess up and look at LeBron. It's like they're they're checking to see how mad he is. I hate that. It makes me feel (laughs) embarrassed inside. I didn't see that a lot with Kerr and a lot of them. Like, I remember growing up watching the two, watched all of that, all of it, all right? I remember them ever ever feeling that way. And I think they dealt with that stuff in practice. Like, as hard as he was and got on them, like, they knew that they're just like, I got to do my job and I got to practice and be good at it. And I won't have to worry about messing up out here. I don't know. I don't know. I might not be making any sense, but like I like I said, like Phil Jackson to me, hands down, the greatest basketball coach of all time. Of our era. Of our, of our era. And you can say Popovich. I think Popovich is in that as well, yes. you know. And he's definitely one of the in top. In terms of people, Popovich, Popovich is number one. Oh, oh yeah. Period. Um, he's talking about a real one. Yeah. Um, yes. But yeah, that's what I took away from it. I loved it. Like how he handled Rodman. Like, look, man, you come out here and work hard, I don't give us. You go do the most. <laughs> you come to practice? Oh, okay. You better play hard. Like, And I think that's missing in certain things. Like, there are certain <laughs> people you got to treat different. You have to. Like, I, I, I'm fine with it. Like, Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Right. You set a good example. Um, don't over not overstay your welcome but don't um you know what i'm trying to say don't take advantage of yeah. uh like rodman leaving he didn't do it often he might have done it a couple times or whatever but they knew they needed him to win so you let the guy go decompress or whatever you know what i mean now if rodman came back and was trash that should be a problem then well of course but that's just sports i mean if you're not any good they're not going to tolerate the bad stuff i mean it should it made me think about when like uh what was that the giants out there on that yacht with no shirts on and stuff before a playoff game whatever that was they went out there and got washed you talking about odell beckham odell beckham and all them <laughs> crews and all them on that yacht <laughs> then what they get washed by like cowboys somebody could wash them in the playoffs got them out of here um 
But that's what I took about it. And I, I just wanted to hear what you had to say about it because we never talked about The Last Dance. Like, I didn't even know if you had ever watched it. Like, Yeah, I watched, no. we watched it when it was on. I just don't know if I've seen, saw the last two episodes. The best thing in the in the entire thing to me is when Homeboy made the quarter shot and shrugged like that. I mean, his story is incredible. Who? The police officer who was Jordan's security guard. He made the quarter. The dude with the long hair. He made oh, the yeah, shot yeah, with the quarters yeah, and he yeah. went like that. Yeah. He was like, CT. <laughs> I see that on Twitter that was all the best day. Scene. Though, that man going like this. That's the best scene to me. I mean, and especially when you know his story. Like um, the best scene was when Jordan was a rookie or young, and seeing him washing like his uniform and like the kitchen sink or whatever he was washing in the kitchen. He was wiping down the counters and he was ironing in the hotel room. And I'm like, man, like it makes me put myself in that situation. Like. Look at him so young and they were on the road in the Bulls. He was a rookie and they had him in the hotel room. And I'm like, yo, you know how you know how responsible you have to be to take care of footage like that? Because you record that stuff. Like you have to say to yourself, I am gonna archive this and take care of it. Temperature rooms, you gotta take care of it. That was the best scene, fam. No, no, it's the best scene to me because and I'm saying it's the best scene to me because like we look at Jordan now as like the greatest of greatest of greats. A lot of us don't really know much about him when he was that young and a kid and seeing him in the in the hotel room washing, he all tall, ironing his his pants and like he just kinda chilling and he landed like he's like He knew he was the best, but he had he, he didn't know it yet. No, he was, no, only, no, he he did. was so no. young. No, he did. He wasn't he just, even it was a rookie. And he, listen, he knew he was the best, but it was completely different than LeBron he knew he was going to work harder than everybody else. Listen, he, when he went to the Bulls' first practice, he realized he was the best player on the floor. Well, others did. No, so, so, same yeah, difference. But anyways, the point is LeBron had a Hummer in high school. LeBron was on ESPN nice. or, or Sports Illustrated cover when he was the freshman or whatever. So it's not the same thing. And LeBron is even – he graduated 17 years ago. Just compare that to the seniors of today. So – it was a different era where and LeBron's lived up to it yes I'm not saying he didn't I'm just saying it, uh, Jordan knew he was the best but it was a different um, even Kobe's era was was different you know what I mean like yeah it, it's not like today where you know there's no D-League team in 1984 signing kit like Jordan was cut from his high school team as a sophomore he played three years in college um uh, these kids nowadays are you know would be drafted in the first top five picks some of them if straight out of high school so you know it's his mentality was different because he tr- he had to try harder initially to get there i loved it uh did you watch the bruce lee one 30 of 30 it was good definitely not top 10 not top 20 but i think a lot of one of the best of scenes in movie Lee's. history was the one you hate okay Brad Pitt. Uh, um, it was good to see, like, you know, him fighting, like, you know, racism and stuff like that, you know, during that time, how Asians were like, it's crazy, because I remember watching a lot of that stuff, like, you're younger, and like, man, look at Breakfast at Tiffany's, and they had, what's his name on there, or uh, Mickey Rooney or whatever, it was playing, like, the Asian guy that lived there, and he was just over the top, and like, just so much stuff, like, back then, and like, they were showing, like, the Disney cartoons, and how they portray, like, a Asian person, and like, all the white actors that played Asian people, and how he was like, you know, he didn't like that, and he was mm-hmm. such a star, and like it was crazy, but I, mean, I forgot. Actually, I don't know if I forgot. Or I didn't know that is thirty two. Man, that is young. I look at Bruce Lee as one so of the like, son. Yeah, son got what shot on set on accident. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, that's all I got to say. I don't really got anything else. <laughs> You got something else, sneaker wise? Anything? I was looking stuff up on my phone. I know there's sneaker stuff that has happened, but I haven't paid attention to anything. Um, I will say this: the the L.A. Dodgers hat has officially replaced the New York Yankee hat as one of the most popular hats. I mean, it's always been a popular hat, but when I'm on social media looking at hats, I mean, people literally L.A. hats are everywhere, and they sell out faster than the Yankee ones all the time. That means nothing, but I just wanted to say that. <laughs> All right, you want to do this? I don't think there's been a lot of sneaker news just because we're in a pandemic. Plus, we're in. Oh, Oh, you know what I will say? We were very disrespectful. I had a revelation. All right, and this is from you looking up sneaker prices. I think we mistreated Gatorade ones. I don't even know if I can picture Gatorade. What were Gatorade? It was the purple ones, bright. Vault yellow, oh, orange. Oh, you mean like yeah, like super bright color ones. I think we because they don't because they didn't look purple. They look blue, and they were had well. There was super a good blue leather. one. 
Yeah. Or are you just talking about all of them? Um, probably I, more the I yellow the and the orange. Only, I thought purple was the only good one. No, the purple one might be the worst one. But nah, man, I was looking like, at somebody ooh. did some like IG stuff with the oranges on and the yellow ones. Them joints looked fire. Now, am I buying them? Absolutely not. But now that I wear Daisy Dukes, <laughs> I might. Who knows? I don't know what the prices are on Gatorade ones now. But you going back through the list of things that like we could have easily bought or had, Clearance and stuff. the prices of them now are insane. Like we were there when like Bloodline ones came out and stuff. We were like, mm, nah, mm, these suck. What are the prices of those? Because when you say they that were pretty today, high, like, what? Mm. they're pretty high. The, I it, had a pair. I and, had a nine and a half. And you know what? High might I not. I think you're making this up, man. Well, what's the price on them? And high might not be the right uh, word. What's two, it, what? Two thirty for a nine and a half. And now look, you talking about this, right? Yeah. yeah. And and the reason why. The one of the main reasons why it's like important to talk about that is because like of how easy it was to get. Not necessarily like, oh, it's not five hundred, but oh, it's set everywhere. joints set everywhere. Like everywhere. Yin yang packs, all of them joints. Like set you, everywhere. You have a list of uh leaks? Nope. But I will tell you this. You I don't put like, it on there. I did, but I don't have a list. You always came up with the leaks. Pause. I never all did. Right. Either way, I'll tell you this. I don't like leaks anymore. I saw that Man, one. what? That one. That, no, no. Not the segment of the show. I don't oh. like sneaker leak pictures. Why? Because social media is already clouded with so many sneakers we look at all day. I don't need to see what comes out fall 2021. We haven't got to fall 2020 yet. We haven't Man. got to summer 2020 yet. Man, we're looking for content, all right? I'm No, no. I'm talking about me personally. I don't like it. You sent the picture of what? What do they look like? Rust pink? Ones? No, I didn't send that. What Arctic ones? Whatever they're called, fam. That joint said we, fall twenty twenty one. But that picture's been out though. That picture was like I saw that like last I month. I don't like. I don't like that anymore. I, look, Man. Fam, let me know what comes out in December and February of that year. I don't need to know. That might be too soon. It's not how it works. People are already talking about what fours and what elevens come out next year. We ain't got the fours and eleven this year. <laughs> All right, who cares? All right, the first one on leaks is. Let me find it. Um. Jordan three, where the Jordan three laser orange. We already talked about that one. No, we didn't. The Laker color one, but it turned out to be Suns colors. We did, huh? We did. We thought it was Laker colors, but it's really Suns colors. The when, white one. When was this? <laughs> Fam, was I not here? No, you were here. Andy was here. We were all here. Oh, that was leaks. Du, 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 uh, du, du, du. I don't think we talked about that. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. One hundred percent. Definitely not. Um, let's see. We talked about leagues, man. Slap yourself. <laughs> we did. We talked about that one because me and Andy talked about it. Yeah. All right. Um, Look, Kobe Bryant, Bruce Lee. Oh, alternates. Jordan Eleven holiday release with the Jordan on the thing. The Concord or whatever. It's black, black Concord. I forgot uh, before. Right. It's fire. I think it's dope. It's a good looking shoe. That's not what I would call it. This is black. I mean, come on. It's fine. Did this say 280? The tuxedo oh, with the graduations? Is that what those are called? Those ones that came out a couple years ago? Those are a fire. Man, that has like a metal raised jump man. Yeah, but I think a few. The um, think like 88, whatever they were called, has red raised jump man. <laughs> think like 88. I forgot what the joints are called. A few of them had raised jump mans. I'm all right with it. Um. All right, let me find a better account. I think it's time for us to go, fam. <laughs> I think it's time for us to do our list of gold. Hold on a second. Okay, here's here's the leak the leak page. I'll tell you this, I'm not excited for any Kobe's whatsoever. And I really wanted some fives and stuff, but like none of them are like I want them, but for some odd like the Kobe's just mm, I want Grinches, I guess, if they come out, but I don't know. You guess, man. Mm. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Oh, these right here. What are those sharks? Nope. Sharks are about two thousand dollars right now. I don't know what those are called. So dunk low uh, SP Samba. Take fire. Every single dunk now is fire. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. You still haven't copped any fam. Uh, I got Syracuse, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Dang man, I don't got plums. I don't got Violet. <laughs> Super trash. Said, Dang, I don't got nothing. But you got I don't got Kentucky. But I got forty for reals though. Oh, um, Supreme Air Trainers. Since I know you want oh, to talk those about those, those are clean. You got a trainer on your list? Kaka. They cool. That color, the white ones are better. 
I don't understand the color scheme, but I like the white ones better. They mm. aight. No, they're not for me. Um, I mean, if somebody seated me, pause, I'll wear them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, PSG Jordan 4. Oh, I actually like it. Like wine color? It's kind of fire. Um, I think that's a, oh, so I think you're going overboard with I this don't thing. like I don't like You know what needs to be worn I need a pair of these seated So I can try them Not that Pause, one There's but. a newer one coming out That looks fire That Jordan made I'm talking I was like yo This one might be a move right. I don't know out. what it's called uh, It might be a move <laughs> Chill out Might have to move on it What else you got You got anything else Um these right here, you simple texted it, and you said you were <laughs> talking crazy. Air Max 90s out of here. Huh? <laughs> Air Max 90s are washed. Dude. Now, I said special ones are better. Those are okay. It's too much black on the back. Huh? I don't the, like them. I think anything I'm over that, anything stuff that has, with pink and... No, you're not. Uh, anything that has a monochrome midsole and outsole, I think you got you to mix it up, unless the whole shoe is that color. Ah. Uh, 90s or mm. or maybe it's just the it's okay because the, the bottom is gum yeah. kind of breaks it a little bit the the midsole the midsole and the leather above the midsole is the same color which looks weird I'm just sorry not, I said that know, wrong 90s I can't yeah. what about these unless it's off white curry dunks I mean they're fire every dunk is fire I don't care what color it is it doesn't matter what color any dunk is it's fire now <laughs> okay because they're they're what we want to wear I hadn't even heard about that like pink blue purple green it don't matter what color they are. We want them all. Huh? There isn't a single dunk that's going to come out that you're going to be like, I want to sell. Unless it's like $1,000, you'd rather sell it than keep it. If you spent the money you spent on plums and biotechs, there's not a dunk. If you got Brazils, you would have kept them. Those are flashes. I mean, they're not SB flat, but they like flashes. They're not flashes. They yeah. fired though, right? Yes. Now, now, Brazil, out of that entire pack, you didn't like the Brazil the least. No, it's not. A, yeah, they were yeah, the third, they were least they were third of them. Now, the if you would have got them, you would have kept them though, right? Kept, not sell. You would have kept those. Yeah, you would have probably. I don't know. I mean, it's just like, kept those. well, you can match it with your Oakland A's hats that you have. Like, Facts. <laughs> I got an A's one coming and a Mariners one coming. I don't have any. Let's I don't, go. I don't have any Oakland A's hats. <sighs> you can get you a Green Manor hat. Don't you got a Green Manor one? I got a Green Manor one. The golf hat. I do not. Mm. You got any more leaks? Or we're going to do this list. Uh, come on, go. I on. mean, really, I haven't had any leaks pause from the very beginning. I've just been cycling, <laughs> cycling right. through stuff. Let's do this. Oh, right here. You didn't talk about these on the show yet. Those are fire. Well, uh, are you insane? If there's anybody who should do their fire, it's you. Fi Fli Prime knit and boost? And you're going to look at me like, that's what Ultra Boost is. Huh? That's what Ultra Boost is. Yes, but these are different. <laughs> like, what you, you just made Ultra Boost. You know what I'm saying. This is different. That's, made, that's different. That's different. And you know it is. Only thing trash under is 2020. Now, those <laughs> are... Un we don't know what those are called, though. The Air Max Pro Days? Uh, 270 pre-day sample. Pre-days. Let me tell you something. Those were unreal fire. <laughs> I'm not putting any pictures of these up, so y'all got to look these up. I just don't feel like it. Oh, is that what we've been doing on Leaks? Well, putting pictures up? It's been that long. Not been putting pictures up and stuff. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why you don't know we talked about Lakers one, you oh, freak. Okay. Because I wasn't here. Okay. Can we do the list? Yep. You know what time it is? Nope. It's 1030. <laughs> yes, AM. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we pulled an all nighter. We did a telethon. A telethon sneaker podcast. AM on your dial. All right. George and I are building a top. 50 sneakers yeah, to us list. Dumbest He's, idea we've ever had. It is. This is an impossible task, okay? <laughs> this is not even... What we made, it's probably not going to make any sense. This is unreal. My bottom 10, we're going to do... Today, we're doing 50 through 41. Next week, we'll do uh, 40 through 31 and so forth. So today... And the best part about this process we're doing is going to be five weeks is that we can make changes to the rest of these before we get here next week. So... <laughs> I'm going to do mine first. Okay. Do, oh, no, no. Actually, do you want to do your other list or your honorable mentions? I don't oh, no, no. Let's just talk about it real quick. So <laughs> this is the part of the show, in case no, no one remembers or maybe you're new, where I say how I did things differently than Greg, and then he yells at me. So I asked Greg before the show, I said, are we doing something that's like actual top 50 that like has consensus where people would agree it's a top 50 or is it a top 50 to us so this is a top 50 to me so things like mars yards not in there uh yeezy 2 is not in there um marty mcfly super boots <laughs> what what are those uh, called mags mags are not, not in there um 
I mean, I think on nostalgia, that shoe's probably a top 50 shoe of all time. But Or, or on... Mags? Uh, yeah. Nostalgia is top 10. I said top 50. Why are you... What? Fine. All right. I didn't say it was say 49. 10. I just said, okay. You may sell like 50. All right. You relax. Um, what else is not in there? There were a lot of ones that I did not include. Like anything new ones, basically, except one specific thing is not in the list. One? Um, like nothing off. One off-white shoe made my list. None of the Travis Scott shoes made the list. None of mine made the list. Um, no Travis Scott. Why'd you say list? one? Well, you said I only one have, special I Jordan. I only one. have one recent Jordan release that made the list. Okay, like regular or a collab? Oh, no, collab. I, I should have probably. You should have to. I should have the UNC cost and low because that was my favorite shoe from last year and maybe my favorite shoe that I own right now besides plums, even though I haven't worn plums yet. I'm very excited to wear plums. Mm, um, no, you can't go anywhere. You've had them for months. You can. No, you can't. You've Where been you going, going places? I can't go anywhere um, except here and work, and I can't wear them either place. Well, I can wear them work, but I come here from work. So um, what else w- uh, would one expect on that list? Um, you got one unobtainable probably. Yes, one up, unobtainable, but I, we don't need to talk about that. Actually, I have two, really, because you're going to be like... I didn't When you hear it, you're going to be like, well, you have that on there? We didn't even know it existed. I, <laughs> I guarantee you're going to say that. I put... I don't have any Chuck Taylors, Vans, Stan Smiths, Shell Toes. I have Vans on mine. Puma Clydes. I don't have any of those because, like... It would be for model. It wouldn't be any like specific ones. I could pick one if I wanted to, but I mean, I look at those as like the pioneers or whatever you want to call them. It's, it's corny. It sounds like, I mean, come on, I'm not going to put a Chuck Taylor in there. A Chuck Taylor and Stan Smith and Shell Toe should probably be one, two, three, four, five and Van Air. Like, you know, you can't go wrong with those. Those are still affordable sneakers for the masses and they're very important when you talk sneaker culture. So, I mean, you can't talk about a shell, talk about sneakers, and not talk about a shell tour. Puma Clyde, without talking about signature sneaker with basketball athletes. And stuff. I don't, unless you consider the one shoe that I obviously put on my list that you know that I love a friends and family shoe, and I don't know that it was. I don't think I put any friends and family shoes on. Uh, you shouldn't have, because you're neither no one's friend or family. Well, you always try to be my best friend, so that's like. different. If I made a friends and family <laughs> sneaker or hat, you get one. Uh, oh, okay. You got to pay shipping though. <laughs> yes, you can't deliver in COVID. <laughs> Uh, fragment ones did not make my list. They shouldn't. I'm just saying this is a uh, this is an ode to the sneakerheads who think that d- without having these things, it's probably ridiculous. Ode? No, no, no. Uh, That's not. I don't got I don't got royal ones. I don't got shadow. What ones. the dunks did not make my list. Okay, made mine. Um, none but, of the organ shoes that everyone of loves. Not. I'm just saying those are unobtainables. Probably. I mean, you um, can, but you can't. What else? Pound for pound, had them. You, <laughs> uh, none of the cause neither cause made my list even though great cause probably if people voted on it would be a here's top the thing show. what you're saying right now you could change you could be like you know what I'm gonna yeah you're right but I, right no now. i'm not putting it on there i will tell you this i only have one kobe on my list um there's only one kobe i have four what Oh, your list is super trash if you got four Kobe's. Four, yeah. What could you possibly have on there? Well, two of them I think you'll agree with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll agree with two of them. You'll agree with two of them. <laughs> you'll agree with two of them. And no, it's not Miles Davis, so don't even get that. take that out of your head. You know what? Me and uh, Andy from the UK did a top 10 sneakers inspired by music. Miles Davis was like far down on my list. You know, it, it's fire, but like... There's nothing on it to signify Miles Davis oh. or nothing. There's no sex oh, phone really? or nothing. Go ahead. Oh, interesting to hear you say that. We got 30 minutes left on this camera. Uh, well, yeah, it's 8 o'clock. We got to get out of here. Um, but, yeah, no off-white. Well, one off-white, but not, not off-white Jordan. Everyone loves the Chicago's. Um, That's the probably the only off-white you should have on there, which means I know what your other off-white is on there. Then. And if you have that off-white on there, it should be in this tin no that we're talking ben about today. No Ben and Jerry's. How, <laughs> how you freaks Bam, have made man. those $1,800 <laughs> is beyond me, and that's with normal packaging. That's not even a friends and family packaging. I don't packaging. know if I ask you about those if you $1, like those. $1,800. I think it's an abomination. It now, is a disgrace to ice cream. Now, I t- <laughs> all right. <laughs> chill out. 
I was talking to Sokjig about it today, and he was just saying that it might be because Ben and Jerry have fans that aren't necessarily sneakerheads, and so it's like a piece of nostalgia. Oh, yeah, of and course. That's, that's why That's why. That's why stuff messes up like that. But, I, yeah, well, see, that I mean. No, that's because that's why when Kobe start coming out, sneakerheads, <laughs> forget us. We're talking about just people in general are going to be trying to get Kobe's now. Like Maybe. Like, oh, maybe what the casual Laker fan is going to go for the Grinches because it's Kobe now. Us niggerheads fighting each other is one thing, but us having to fight the world is a completely different yeah, thing. Yeah, maybe. You might if I find right, out I you know. and Sajik are best friends, I swear to God, punch you in your eye. Why would I be best friends with someone who doesn't even live here? I've never met in person. Y'all talk an awful lot, though. Y'all never include me. About though. shoes. Actually, you're right, because I'll never talk to <laughs> like, I'll never talk to either one of y'all. You don't text, text with anyone. I don't, <laughs> I don't talk to nobody. You know? I will say this, though. The like only said, reason that we The fact that you got four Kobe's I am so interested to hear what those are There is absolutely no way you can have four Kobe's on the list None There's none Yeah there is I, I know one I couldn't even tell you what the other three would be Not yeah. even a qu- close Yeah you can You can guess the second one 3D Kobe? I, Fam <laughs> Come on Got nothing for you USC 4? Come on man I got nothing for you Come on man I couldn't tell you one Martin Luther King days. All right, <laughs> disrespectful. All right, we're going to do this. <laughs> speaking of BHM, BHM like dunks that I sold, like BHM from like 2013 or 14 that I sold for probably like peanuts, like 150 bucks. Some of them joints are four fifty five hundred. Let me explain something to you. And it has nothing to do with George let Floyd. Let me either. explain something to you about next year's Black History Month. Them joints are gonna be like. <laughs> well yeah if they don't use kente print on them fam if they use kente print or something on them i swear i won't <laughs> like nike no more they put like joe biden face on them with a <laughs> now that would be funny ah. this is one of the shoes on this is one of the ones on my list and i know you hate on it so. <laughs> what? it better be in this bottom 10 you said it better be in this bottom ten, George. No, nah, fam. I don't think so. Why do you love those so much? I'm not even gonna say what they are. They don't suck. But what is with you in those? Because typically you don't even mess with anything of that color, that solar bright mangoish red. That's not true at all. Huh? Fam, I have literally the same exact shoe in the eleven. The one Kobe eleven I own is this colorway. What are Kobe elevens? You own them, the one that the entire inside pulls out, and then you just have like the plastic bottom. You made a a, a PE, not a PE, whatever that is. That's a Kobe Eleven. Yes. Oh, you have that? I have the color. <laughs> I wore it to your house. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, you ain't been to my house since my daughter turned. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> guess how long ago Kobe Elevens came out? Because that was the year I wore it. <laughs> Uh, okay, look, uh, what else you got? Are we going to do the list? Yeah, that's it. Let me do mine. You want me to go first? I'll go first. All right. Here is my 50 through 41 of my top 50 <laughs> sneakers of all time to me. All right. All right. I can't wait for this. Number 50. I got Dunk SB What The. Okay. That's my number 50. Number 49, I got, I'm going to do all 10. Number 49, I got Air Max 1 Animal at most. I'm surprised you put it that low. Yeah. Number, man, I'm already messed up. Number 48, I got Bo Jackson Trainer SC Auburns. Oh, you tripping. Number 47, I got Diamond Turf 2's Deion Sanders. The I'll pick the Niners color. 46. I understand why it's on there, but it should. This one is You probably weird. got Griffey on there, too. Nope, but I should. Oops. But thank you. Oops. Number 46. All right. I got Nike SB Dunk Skunks at 46. Okay. Oh, you cool with that? I'm fine with that. Oh, okay. I, I feel mean, a little it's, comfortable it's now. Definitely, it's definitely a classic SB. Okay. All right. As long as you didn't say purple ones. The, again, <laughs> Man, that's another thing. Fam. I don't understand what the prices are, what Those they are. Those suck. All right. Uh, that's too strong. Those suck. That's too strong. All right. Green ones are better, but that's too strong. Uh, number 45, I got Yeezy V1 Pirate Black. Yes. Too low, but yes. That's 45. Sorry. Too low, uh, yes. Number 44, I got Jordan 1 Black Toe. 
Number 43. Way too low. Number 43, I got Jordan 14 last shots. Okay. Number 42, I got Nike Flight 89s. You know, the blue Duke colorway, whatever, Duke, whatever. Okay. That model is very Those more important don't than suck, a lot of people. And they prop, the model probably should be in my top. It should. Whatever models of all time. That's what we should of do course. next. See, that's why the list is hard because it should be broken down by Air Max 1, Air Max 90, Air Max 95, this, that, 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 and then combined. You yeah, have that's to. a different list. Um, that's a different list. And then, and that was number 42 with my Nike Flight 89, and my number 41. I got ASIC gel light kill bill sagas. Ooh, wow. How did I forget about that one? Um, Oops. <laughs> now, you were wondering how I had so many ASICs on my list. Wait a minute. You have that many ASICs and you don't have that one? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think, yes, you did a theme song in your head on accident. A new creation. I think the fact that you own it. <laughs> Helped you remember it to put it on there. I never never owned it, so I didn't think about it. I don't know. Um, was that? You, you know what's crazy? You say it real quick, or are you, what do you already have in regret? That's it. Um, no, I I'm mean, regretting. No, nah, oh, recap. Number fifty, SB Dunk. What the number forty nine? Air Max One Animal Atmos. That's the one I'm regretting. I think that's way too low. <laughs> um, number forty eight. I got Trainer S C Auburn Bo Jackson's. Number forty seven. I got Diamond Turf Two The Reds. Uh, number 46, I got SB Dunk Skunks, which is probably way too low, but look. Uh, I got 45, <laughs> I got Yeezy. Were those Yeezy 350s too? V1s? Yes. I don't remember. Oh, 350 V1, Damn, Pirate Black. Up, I don't remember. Uh, number 44, I got Jordan 1 Black Toe. Number 43, I got Jordan 14 Last Shot. Black Toe is way too low. Number... Mm, way too low. No, it's way too low now to people because for some odd reason... Black toes in Chicago have surpassed the want for breads. Like not to me, but yeah, but you, you see how people act now about black toes and red. Yeah, when he did that before last last dance too is how it got that. When way. he did that I mean, uh, Twitter voting thing, uh, uh, Chicago's won. Like man, what? Yeah, no one cared before last dance came on about Chicago ones. Right. Yes. Uh, Virgil did Chicago one with the first. It's probably because they said here. <laughs> this is okay. I'm not gonna say it's the worst one, but they probably were like here. This is the one no one cares about right I now. I think we'll Chicago ones are the worst out of all of them, and I like Chicago ones. No, in the low. What do you, man, fam? You've been dying to get those. What yeah, I want those. About? I'm saying they're the best in the low. Although you said worst. No, no, no. It's the worst out of the highs, but it's the best in the low. Like, not the best in the low. It's it, it's you, hard to say. You don't like shadows, really, so why would you put it below shadows? Shadow, uh, I think shadows overrated, but I could wear a shadow. You know what? I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> number, like I said, number 43, I got Jordan 14 last shots. Number 42, Nike Air Flight 89s. That's a very important sneaker when you're talking about, like, yeah. college in sneakers in general. It's related to Jordan 4. It's related in to my Yeezy 2. Like, that's what the Yeezy 2 soul is. Um, it's Air Tech Challenge 2. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Um, number <laughs> number 41, my last one, A6 Gel Light Saga Kill Bill. All right. George, what's your number 50? I can't wait to try this. <laughs> <laughs> Number 50, Nike Air Max 90 Atmos Duck Hunter Camo, the infrared one. That's fine. That's fine where that's at because I said if you had that on there, it got to be in the bottom 10. Then. Oh, it's it, last. <laughs> yeah, it couldn't, be, it couldn't be any higher than that. Number 49, Air Tech Challenge 2 Wimbledon. You you got to look on your face because you thought I was going to say Boy, lava. I thought you were going to say lava. <laughs> you would say lava would have pushed the button. Would have turned both yes, cameras off. Yeah, done, done. Walk out. Wimbledon, though. Fam, you know how hard we tried to get Wimbledon's for that's, years straight? That's, uh, years straight. But you got that in your top 50? See, I really can't judge it now because I don't know what you've left out, like, fully yet without hearing everything. Um, no, duh. That's how this works. <laughs> Wimbledon's? There's only, like, eight people on Earth that know what those are. Me, you, Rico, <laughs> you, me, Rico, you, and me. <laughs> yes, Agassiz doesn't. Wimbledon chairman doesn't. Winner of Wimbledon in 2013. Though. That's eight. They probably get to that as the winner to, in 2013. There you go. They were like, I saw my flight club in New York. I bet Serena has a pair. Fire. I'm sure she does. Nike, number 48. Nike, KD. I don't know why I keep saying Nike, but Nike, KD4, Galaxy, All-Star. Do you have more than one of those? Number 48. No, I do not. 
So that's the one you chose out of all the KD fours. The re- you know why I picked that one. How hard did I try to get that one? I mean, you got scammed. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right. You're right. I understand. You probably have weatherman higher. I mean, it is what it is. Number forty-seven. This is the one you're gonna be mad about. Nike Air Max One Pinnacle Sale. <laughs> You put that on a top 50 list? I told you. you might have At 50, I might have would have been like, okay. Oh, there's a big difference between 50 and 47. Yeah, because <laughs> you think, okay, because now, and I looked at my list when I'm saying it, because I got Animal Atmos under Bo Jackson's, which clearly Animal Atmos is better than Bo Jackson's. Yeah, so you're saying those are better than that Camel OGs. To me, because of Air Max 1. You're crazy. Fam, that might be the most wearable pair of shoes I have. Dead serious. That shoe is so fire. You have a pair of pinnacles. You know how good the leather is. Oh, the leather is nice, but the shoe is whack. It's for women. Nah, it's the not colors is. It's nah. not even. It's lighter than pastels. Sale. It's or you li- know yours. Oh, mine is like a purple. No, fam. I have sale. Those suck All too. Sale. No, they don't. That's what I'm to do. Look yeah. like a. Um, Those are now like 400 on resale. I got them joints for retail or under retail. That don't mean they tight now. <laughs> what they got to do with anything? Oh, no, no. They always been tight. You said like I was going to be like, oh, shoot. You should have because uh, you wouldn't have thought that. They've <laughs> okay. always been tight. Uh, yeah, no you sound like a hater. No? Uh, number 46, Adidas Ultra Boost 1.0 Burgundy. Fam. What are you talking about? We can't get that. You're right, but it came out. Oh, gosh. It actually did it? Yes. Oh, I don't remember. It came in Europe, but it came out. <laughs> it wasn't friends and family. Europe. I said, well, I know we do international drops. Uh, <laughs> yes, Wimbledon's, but you didn't know we were. Right. I want to say my entire list so bad. I'm not used to this stopping at 41. <laughs> that was mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, That's like us doing top five. I thought Tim was stopping at five. Number 45, Kobe 5 All Star. You know, I like that shoe. The red Kobe 5 All Star. One major top the 50? Hardwood. Yes. Yeah, this is a George only likes list. No, it's not. Yeah. No, nah, because yeah. you got maybe, sales. Maybe, maybe that you got sales or well, Of course, one. I told you there's going to be one you hate, and it's the sale one. Fam, though, Kobe that you showed me, this Kobe All Star, and a sale Air Max One, you're off to a rough start. <laughs> and, that bar, and, that, and, that, and that Kobe oh, 6 you showed me, whoa, whoa, that whoa. Kobe 6 you showed me, I don't think it's going to be in this bottom 10 the way, the way you're going. It doesn't sound like that it. was it. Oh, uh, sorry. The other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, no, sorry. The one yeah. that you showed me? I don't yeah. think it's in the bottom 10. No, it's not. That means you got it way too high. That means you, you know what? <laughs> way you know too what? high. That means you, you know what? I know where you have it. There's still 40 No, no, no. I know where you have ago. it. I know where you have that Kobe 6. <laughs> you talk about that Kobe 6 way too much. If I know you, where you have it. If you think it's higher than the number one Kobe of all time, you're tripping. Because that might be top 10. Uh, it might. Might. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Number 44, Vans Old School Patchwork Factory Floor Size Collab. <laughs> Don't act like those aren't fire. Had to have Vans on there, fam. Don't act like those aren't fire. You didn't have to. You know how hard we try to get those? Fam, like? stop talking about that shoe, though. That shoe, <laughs> <laughs> that shoe made your, even if it was your personal, it made your personal top 50? Yes. Okay, we've never even seen it before. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> never seen it. I've seen it in pictures. The one person I've seen on foot was 2J Kicks. That's the only person I've ever seen he with him. He doesn't it. exist. He's on IG. He doesn't exist. Number 43, A6, GT2, Ronnie Feig, Rose Gold. That's a good one. That was and 43. I, so. I should have put that Did somewhere. Did I say 42 or 43? You said 42. And 43. 42, Nike SB Dunk High, Statue of Liberty. Mm, I don't got that anywhere on mine, but I can make that change though. It has to be on there because mm. it's the first shoe that had the rub off. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> nope. That don't mean nothing. It does mean something. No, it doesn't. Fam, you know how many shoes it influenced? <laughs> it was an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how many is actually influenced. It might be four, like no. three. It might be three sneakers of ever that rub off. No, um, Skate Man, uh, Jordan One, Skate. <laughs> Not skate the great skate head. Lance Mountains. Yeah, there you go, Lance Mountain. What else? Um, Both Lance Mountains. Oh, these new ones. The other two are Jordan ones. Paris, LA to Chicago. Yeah. Paris to uh, Louisiana. Um, <laughs> Lance Mountain whites and blacks. Well, yes. Statue of Liberties. Cheech and Chong's. That don't rub off. They burn off. Uh, they don't burn off. They peel off. Same that's not thing. the same thing though. Why isn't it? Because that's. 
peeling off. They hid something under the what's supposed <laughs> no, to be no, there. No, no. Rub Travis, Travis Scott's. Travis Scott. Travis Scott. No, that's no, no, B. No. That's rip off. Yep. Same thing. No rub off materials. Same thing, fam. No. And number forty one. A D. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because it sounds funny. Like we used to be like, eh, number one, number forty one. Yeah, we could get out of here. Adidas NMD PK R one Nice Kicks um, tie dye. Hold on. You, okay. it, you think it's too low? Way too low. Huh. I didn't. I, w- and way too low for you. There's other more important stuff on here. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Way, Yo, way more important is stuff. Crazy. Hold on. Let me see where I got nice kicks. I'm gonna hold on. Ooh, I got, I got nice kicks. Oh, never mind. You might be right. Yeah, you probably got you, it in your next list. You might be right. You might be right. I'm gonna ask you this. I'm gonna just ask you this, Sam. I said at the beginning of the show this list is trash. Hold on. This list is hard to do. So. I'm gonna ask you this. Don't throw that paper away too. Though you throw that paper away, it's are you, gonna, you want me to hold it? Why would I throw it away? Damn. That's my list. You do stuff like that. Though. You'd be like, "Whoops, no, that's no, it. I, no, I give it to you. And Pause. do not forget it. Okay, look. Do you have an Air Force One on yours? Of course not. What kind of question is that? Not e- okay. You can't tell me that you got a Statue of Liberty because it, it influenced rub off, but you don't got an Air Force One. Not even all white. Okay. It influenced the East Coast. Okay. These are shoes that I will wear. See, that's a George list. That's you what can't. We, that's what we talked no, about. No, because when I said that, you said not necessarily. It's a George list. No, that's what we talked about. <laughs> that's just, why I asked you. Fam. I'm not going to say it's trash. <laughs> because <laughs> always, I. Always it's trash. Uh, you can say it. It's fine. <laughs> it's definitely trash. You agree with a lot of mine. No, that's not true. Mm, the only one you had a, a heartache about was Black Toe. You had a couple too low. Black Toe and Animals. You didn't make any huff about what the duck at 50. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put it on mine. That's why. You didn't make and what huff. the dunk started the what the dunk era. All right. That still exists. I haven't, didn't say a what the shoe. What are you talking about? No, I'm just saying. What the are you talking about? Because you said you put Statue of Liberty on it because they influenced the rub off era. If you don't have a what the. Yeah, that's fine. You got to have a what the on yours. No. Any, okay. Out of your Kobe's, <laughs> is it even what the's? No. Why would it, I'm what dying the Kobe to know what be on here? Are. What the Kobe might be the best what the besides the dunk that there's ever been made. Are you talking about brown snake or brown uh, amphibian, whatever it was? <laughs> no, there was two. Brown there was Christmas. A, there was an eight one and a seven one. Yeah, that was a that that what the was the, the best what the both suck. You're crazy. I can't even think of what the other Kobe's are. <laughs> it's gonna keep me up tonight. Anyways, you just said what the about twenty seven times in that in all them sentences. All right, I got nothing else. Man, let me see them spaghetti. That spaghetti one. That's Which one you want? Really has? Bruh, I don't fill, want it. Fill I, the size. Of. That joint really has spaghetti that one in thick. it. No, there's no spaghetti in it. It's just sauce. You freak. No, it isn't. It's spaghetti chili. It's like a bolognese. It's thicker. No, fam. Look, I no, guarantee no. Look at there's this one. spaghetti in it. No, no. Here. Fill this one and then fill that one. Yes, there's spaghetti it's just in thicker. here. It's like um. No, it's not. Feel this is liquid. There's, there's no Look. noodles on that. Yes, it is. You can't cook. That's just chili. Bam, there's noodles Wait a minute, in let me there. see that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hold on, let me see that. Why do you think it says spaghetti? Yo, Andy, what's up, man? What are you talking about? That's what they're known for. Oh, my God. There's noodles on this. Oh, I guess they do that like Chef Boyardee. I, Fam, that's what they're known for. You they, want this? Look, at the, this? look at the picture on the front. They literally make spaghetti. I don't like spaghetti. So. And then they put chili on top of it. I don't like spaghetti. You want this? No. Okay, well, I'm about to eat this when I get home. I've had Skyline. I'm not a fan. And when you get home and you eat it, you're going to text me, ugh, this cinnamon is nasty. Fam, and when I'm gonna I t- eat and this. I'm going to tell you this one. This is fire. Right? I'm about to be using a bathroom all night. I'm about to put this. someone in Cincinnati told me you got to get this one instead. Now, I'm this about feels to, a little liquidy. This does, too. <laughs> like this out. I'm going to need you to stop doing this. <laughs> this right here, I'm going to put this in a bowl, heat it up, and I'm going to crush these grippies on top of it. Uh, what are these called? Grippos? Grip, grip, these, grip all of them. Griffey, didn't grip play. the chips. <laughs> Fam, what are you doing? Gripping. Gripping. Oh. Yes. You, all right. Let's get out of here. Doing your workout. That's the thing. This. Bow, 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 bow. I'm not a crook. <laughs> yes. And we got hats, B.